everyone, and welcome to the Anime Izakaya Podcast. On this show, we'll be discussing the current season of anime airing every week. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Sren. Hello. Next up, we have Ku. Howdy. And also, we have Brian. Yo. And this week, uh, making her podcast TV, we have Taylor with us today. Hello. All right. So, uh, last week, we were kind of uh, rushing uh, the first half because, you know, it was getting late on a Monday night, and... We thought we could finish this in an hour, even though it almost ended up being two hours for the final recording. Later. Yeah, basically. So, and I know, like, my goal is to be consistent and try to release one episode a week, and we just released the, the episode two just, like, uh, a couple hours ago on a Sunday. So, we'll make sure that uh, this episode gets uploaded as soon as possible, preferably by Tuesday night. And also, um... <laughs> Uh, last week we called it the Anime uh, Happy Hour podcast, but we find out that the name was already taken. So we're gonna use Anime Izakaya for now. And if anyone doesn't know, Izakaya is basically like like a Japanese like restaurant or pub or places that you go to eat and drink usually at night. So we're gonna keep cool. that name for now and see how it goes. So close enough to Happy Hour. Yeah. So, but I mean, Happy Hour has a, a better and nice thing sound, and like most more people know it than Izakaya. So that's the only thing I'm worried about. But. That's true. Yeah, that's true. basically some basic house- housekeeping. So this week we're just gonna just everyone just take a deep breath, just sit back <laughs> and relax. We're we're not gonna rush for her. a podcast that's not gonna be an hour long. So just back. How's everyone doing tonight? That's okay. bad. Okay. I've been caught up to everything again this week. So that's uh two same. weeks out of not three. Not. So I would say same, but not same. <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, I think I'm caught up to everything too. Uh, I mean, no, I mean, so we're gonna um, kick things off with the uh, the heavy hero of the season, starting with My Hero Academia. Oh, I should mention too, this is uh, week three of the fall 2019 season. So right off for My Hero Academia, um, we found out uh, about Night Eyes Quark. Basically, what was it like? He if he touches you and he can see Makes direct eye contact. Makes like eye crack on. Does he only see like an hour ahead, or yeah. a fra- that's yeah, like, hour and up to an hour, yeah, up to an hour, okay. yeah. Okay, so he sees up to an hour ahead. So basically, the first half was um just just Deku trying to get the stamp and failing <laughs> to get the stamp. <laughs> Yo, that man's OP. Right. Yeah, that, that that's like, a pretty that's sick. Like on, but like with way more setup. It's like all right. I don't know, man. Shringon, you can Is basically you can be thrown into like your own like little you know world. So I think that's a little bit stronger. You can basically just base. You can just make the guy go like a, you know limp. I mean, I mean, you're not wrong, but it's, it's <laughs> like the setup for that is like, all right, you have to touch the person and make eye contact. You're asking for a little bit much, right? Yeah, yeah and that's a, true. in a in an actual situation, that's dire. I don't think that's ever going to be. Yeah, bad. you're so, so worthless. Well, I hey, yo, come over here. Let me touch you. Give me a high five, bro. <laughs> I pretty sure they put that conditioning just so it's not too op. You right. Know. right. We Even don't know a lot if he, of the powers are already OP. Like we, we don't know if the guy has uh, anything else besides that. Do we like he like you know speed, strength, or anything? Right? It's basically just I his, think that's, like, foresight. That's got to be it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's like the majority of the episode. Basically, was just like the cork. But I really want to talk about like because you guys, you all saw the the, the after credit scenes, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. So that that's basically where they show um. Uh, uh, they're on their uh, Deku's like assignment is to go on patrol against the the Yakuza guy, and then he ends up meeting him in the alleyway with uh, the little girl that we keep seeing in the the ending. And we find out her name's Eri. So, yo, this guy Deku had, either has the best luck or the worst luck. <laughs> like literally, right after getting talked to about this, he's like, "Oh, I guess I found him." I mean, t- you know, seeing like his like right arm is uh you know pretty much gone. I'd say it's probably pretty bad luck. <laughs> But it's okay. He's with uh, he's with uh, the Fallout guy. <laughs> Is that what we're calling him now? I don't remember his name. It's Pit Boy, man. Get it right, Strand. Pit Boy, my bad. <laughs> but uh, you know, for his anime, his actual anime name, what is it again? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> Did you hear you guys making fun of me? <laughs> God. Okay, it's it's uh, Togata. Togata. Yeah. Togata. I like Pet Boy better. I do too. It's a little bit easier to say. Mm-hmm. Um, so we'll probably throw his like anime name here and there, but probably most of the time it's going to be either Fallout or Pit Boy. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Uh, also, like during the previews too, we saw that like um, that she actually goes back with him. So 
Yeah, and something then, about how he lets her go or something like that. Right, yeah. because there's not enough evidence to uh, mm-hmm. uh, conclude that, oh, she's in danger and she needs to be taken into custody. So she lets him go back. So Good times. Yeah. That's basically uh, a perfect decision. And there was something about a secret, right? Or something that uh, All Might's going to tell him in the next episode? Oh, yeah, the next episode looked really, yeah. really good. So I think next episode is when the season will really begin. Uh, yeah. Even though I actually do like currently, I like I like Night Eye. I think he's pretty cool. <clears throat> Not very useful but, though. I'll give it that. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It's like to get, to make like the conditions happen. It sounds like it's it could be such a pain in the ass because like if the guy has like besides like just like foresight, then it's just like I mean anybody who's like moving like a or any has any kind of strength like by the time he like, touches, him, I can usually end up dead. Right. So well, he's more of a behind-the-scenes player. Yeah. That is true. Support. Yeah, support. He's definitely. Like, you identify uh, best as a friend, at least through league. Thanks, so. man. Well, do I? We'll see. I mean, you play a support, but yeah, that, that's off time. If we're counting like the eight, like, the eight games that me and Kula played, uh, no, <laughs> yeah. that's off topic. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. Yep. Anyway, um, uh, I don't, I don't have anything else to say. Um. Does anyone else have any thoughts about like maybe like next episode, like how as how the arcs gonna shape up now that things are kind of moving fast? Yeah, I'm curious to learn more about the relationship with um the other uh, Deku Senior, the one that was supposed to inherit All Might's power. Togata. I want to learn more a little bit Togata. about that. Yeah, Togata. Yeah, the guy who's the name. How could I forget the name so quickly? <laughs> yeah. Good boy. Yes. <laughs> I have a feeling by the end of this like, season, we'll definitely know this guy's name if he's if he's a major part. Um. And if he's going to be making like impressions in a badass, I'll I'll definitely remember that guy's name. I will respect I mean, him. He like looks him? like he's a major part because even on like anime list, they said like he's a main character. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, he's yeah, like what there's the... got to be reason why he wasn't chosen ultimately, right? Like they already well, they were well known of him way before, and yet for some reason they didn't choose him as successor. Maybe there's something that's there's like a, a major flaw with him that they're going to mention earlier or later on. Find out next episode. Of here, Academia. That's all Matt's episode, all right? Maybe yeah, two but, or three episodes from here. But uh, I mean, okay. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah. So this, so this is another. Yeah. Just, uh, just I don't know what's the word, but it's like this one episode before. I think next episode's gonna get really serious. Well, actually, not really serious because like, uh, I think the tense. goes away. But yeah, I think more tense just because it's just like with yeah. the whole exchange of like the little girl and. Yeah, because I wasn't expecting like to throw the shoulder in the alleyway right, like, right there. So, Damn. yeah, yeah. I almost kind of wish that we didn't see that in the preview and that it completely snuck up on us in the next Spoilers. episode. Spoilers! I don't yeah. know. Spoiled by a damn show. <laughs> in a way, though, like even like in the in like the, the 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 episode preview, like it still makes me like it makes I guess like that hard that that much harder to wait for for next week because it's like oh damn. Yeah, right. Oh. For uh, for promotion wise, I think it's a really smart move, right? Because it's yeah, making it wait for it. Yeah. So, I mean, even I mean, though I, I think people are going to be waiting anyway, it's here like academia. But like, you know, they can't wait. That's true. Like, if we needed more hype, <laughs> I mean, I I can wait. Like, here we academia is one of one of the few shows I can resist reading the manga. Mm. Uh, well, that's only because like, uh, I mean, was it Studio Bones just does such a good job? And I, I, I can't read, so it helps. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that, dude. Uh, I mean, that's. I mean, I guess that's it. I guess yeah, that kind of like the like... the fight. I mean, between him and uh, him and uh, Night Eye was was pretty cool. I didn't really like, really even pay attention when the guy was like fine or Deku's place. He was just completely like just avoiding everything of All Might. Yeah, the ultimate respect, dude. Yeah, like I didn't want to step on all this amazingness. Also, who the hell makes an anniversary like a basically a limited? It'd be everywhere, especially for how big like uh, All Might is. Like, come on, how are you only how are you not releasing a poster? Hey, you gotta make money. Limited edition, all. man. Right? Yeah. I mean, that's just Japan in general. They love doing those limited edition. The the, the yeah, resale value. <laughs> yes, boss. But anyway, I think I'm that, I'm done with your academia. <laughs> okay, so we're. I'm... We're gonna, really, oh, oh, I really yeah. just want to point out, like, some people in the show really got the short end of, like, the quirk ability. Like, that kid that literally turns water to vinegar is so worth it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forgot all about him. <laughs> like, <laughs> some people legit just, like, I'd rather just not even have a quirk. Uh-huh. Like, really? You vinegar? sure? Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't yeah, think. What are you struggling for vinegar, dude? Yeah, it's like, oh damn, you blow up shit. What do you do? I could change water. It was like, oh, what can you do? Don't worry about it. I mean, anything is better than Mineta, so like. <laughs> Oh, I okay, don't know. Good. I think even Mineta's power is better than that. Hey, at least, okay. at least with Mineta, he can actually like, uh, uh, you know, he could, he could, he could maybe make like a like a legitimate like you know, fire hydrant. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh wait, for some reason I was thinking of like the the little kid that actually shoots like little. No, no, that. Yeah, yeah. Wrong, I want the guy somebody. with the purple yeah. balls. Yeah, on his, yeah. His, his, I think his quirk is a little bit more helpful than uh. The guy that little sh- that shoots like a little thing of he water, can and also be like a mini Spider-Man. Dude. Yeah, it's actually yeah. super better helpful. than turning water to vinegar. Yeah, I, I would have to say his his quirk is actually know. better than his. Brian here just basically just wants to be Deku before he gets you know. One I mean, off. come on, I might as well. Shit, I might get that one chance. <laughs> <laughs> but that was my two cents on that part. That yeah. shit was just yeah. Stupid. I forgot. I, mean, I forgot all that about that. That's, yeah, that's that's pretty terrible. And what's weird is like the the kids like in water, but yet nobody went in to like, actually just. Like, <laughs> they, went they wait for all my why. Like the best part. It's like hey, all bi- these people don't know how to swim. Dude, bystander effect, man. <laughs> no, nah, man, it's a one piece effect. It's a bystander effect. <laughs> <laughs> you would be one of those people strange just watching someone drown instead of I mean, going in to help. I see. I think I. So okay, here's here's this. Like I probably would if it was. Normal. I don't know about like afterwards. Like it's like a oh like wh- like what is a like, you're not diving into just water, it's it's like the worst kind of water. It's vinegar water. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, I don't know. I can see that way. It's like oh no, I jump in. <laughs> yeah, that's why no one else jumped in then. <laughs> I tried yeah, to they're like oh we're gonna wait for the number one hero. He's got this. <laughs> or a hero in general because there's no one else around apparently. Yeah, apparently all might's just everywhere. Oh yeah. 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 All right. that, was, that was my two cents on that. Part. Yeah, I completely thanks, forgot. That thanks, was a good Brian. One. That was actually really funny. I, I'm thankful you brought that up. <laughs> so we're gonna end there now for my hero academia. Uh, we're gonna transition to villain saga. Um, Brian, which episode are you on right now? Uh, how many are out? Sixteen. Yeah. Sixteen. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on fourteen. So I just finished the part where they like raided that little town and like murdered. Oh, those are like fifty people, including kids and babies. I'm like, <laughs> holy <laughs> shit! Yo, these people are going in. I'm like, damn. <laughs> and then that girl passed out. That I'm like, all right, the chance of you surviving until the next morning are probably like slim to none in real life. But maybe your resistance to cold weather or something. So Brian, what did you think of Aslad after like, like? Yo, this man's was, on a mission. Because he, because like, we're he's the show is trying to make him into like, um, like. I'm not relatable, but like he's trying. They're, tr- they're trying to like give him like motives for what he does, but then like they show him basically like destroying that village. So, what do you think of his character? Uh, I mean, I I mean, the man comes up as like a as like a not exactly a villain, but like a, a I don't know a bandit, I guess. And like he he always like lets people know, but like, hey, like I don't always follow like strict righteous rules of the gods and stuff it's like i do what i need to do and get my men what they want so i mean it's reasonable for him to do that do we think that he's going a little bit sort of like the anti-hero route or is that too much um i always have a hard i always have a hard time describing anti-hero because like because because brian you um you saw the they revealed that he's like like half welsh right yeah so basically like like he says like he hates the Danes because of you know, what they did to his mom and stuff. True. So, I don't know. Like, I think I they're mean, they're trying to portray him as like someone who's who who does whatever it takes to get his get his um to fin- to get his to finish his goals. But like, well, the way that the, oh, go ahead, Taylor. <laughs> I was just gonna say. I mean, at this point, we really don't have any definitive evidence as to what he actually believes. Yeah, um, because he's kind of shown actions for everything. I mean, he has shown that, like his, I can't remember his uh, second in command's name, but I mean, he seems Yorn, pretty loyal. I think. Yeah, I think so. He seems pretty loyal to him. He seems to really care for him. He seems to really care for the main character, but at the same time, now he's saying that he's loyal to the Welsh. So we have yet to really see what's true. Yeah. Yeah, it's just playing to what benefits you at the moment, I guess. 
I think I think he actually when he says he hates Danes, I think he actually means it because I think yeah he was mad at like that his mom had to suffer under the Vikings. Yeah. But yeah, I agree so, with that. So I think I think so I can kind of see where he's going, where he's trying to like because I think where he's trying to prop up um, Canute as the next king of England just to protect uh, Wales. Oh. So what do we think of Canute then? Well, stuff happened in the last past episode, so I don't know if yeah. Brian like wants to. <laughs> uh, I mean, so far, I guess as far as I've seen, I can say he's come around his shell a little bit to Thorfinn because you know, man just pushes buttons and just blew up on his ass. I was like, all right, I guess the dude's crazy too. But <laughs> yeah, I'll let y'all get into the last two episodes. Of- David, you want to lead? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, um. Trying to, uh, trying to think where to start off. Like, do you want to start off the delays episode? Did what just happened with um at, after the, the the bridge crossing? Sure. Okay. So, so it ended off with um with basically like the Viking crew starting to they're they're getting weary of like Aslad and his leadership, basically like su- like getting like suffering blows one by one, and now it just ends with them. Like all about to basically mutiny against him. Mm-hmm. So, and uh, Thorkel's wicked uh, spear throw. Oh yeah, <laughs> he just he just throws his spear and just kills like four people right away. <laughs> was it three or four? I think it was four. I mean, they said three, and then they said, said four afterwards. Okay. MC abilities. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it was all the way across the river. So that was that was definitely an indicator yeah, of his skills. If we didn't yeah. know yet. I don't know. I think, yeah, I th- I'm pretty sure like they're all gonna get out alive. I think like yeah, Aslid, uh, Bjorn, and then like Twinfin and Canoe, they're all gonna get out. And what's and I'm, I assume that like the people who are left behind just gotta get slaughtered by Thorkel. For some reason, I feel like uh, Thorfinn and Canute are going to be separated somehow. I feel like there's oh, yeah. going to be a little bit more development there before they meet up with the group. Oh, but okay, I do yeah, feel I can... like Askeladd has something up his sleeve. I, I, I okay yeah I definitely see that happening too but I think I was I think he made the wrong choice when he killed Ragnar because I think that's kind of like <laughs> screw him over like in the future with Canute oh yeah absolutely and it seems like Canute already knows exactly yeah, what when, happened it must when be, like he had time to ruminate <laughs> we're just like when he like looks him at the eye and says Ragnar is dead and Canute just looks back and he's just so pissed because he just knew <laughs> Slack killed him. Yeah, I was actually pretty surprised about that. I didn't really expect it going that route, which I guess I should have because they were fundamentally different in their yeah. opinions. But good thing that he told Askeladd about what was actually going on with the kingdom before they waltz in there. Yeah. So yeah, uh, it was a really good episode. Having watched everything and caught up with everything in the course of one week, <laughs> I feel like everything was definitely built up to what's happening right now. Um, Did you... So, do you know much about the the historical backgrounds on like the character in the setting for Vinland Saga? I actually, uh, one of my colleagues has watched a show called The Vikings, and she was telling oh, yeah. me a little bit about some of it. So, again, that's why I was a bit surprised by the death this week because I don't think that that is historically accurate. <laughs> so, like, they play around with a lot of things, but um, but uh, Thornfinn, he's a real character. He's a real person. Oh, really? Yeah. So. He- but like I don't know how accurate the show is based off like the real person, but he was a real person. And you know, earlier in the show we had Leif Erikson, so we all know who that is, or hopefully we do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Canute was also a real person. He was a real king. It kind of makes me want to go and look up the actual history of this afterwards. Because like this is like around like 200, 300 years like after like uh, after the Vikings started raiding England. A lot because that was. That was kind of funny when um when Aslad was talking to the the, the English guy like saying how because he was calling them savages for mm-hmm. taking their land and then Aslad's like no uh the Celts were here first then the Romans came and then you're you're an Anglo-Saxon you came afterwards so we're basically just doing the same thing to you what you did to the people who were before. Well, exactly. Eventually, if you've ever gained power, it's because you stepped over somebody else for yeah. the most part. Which is yeah. And this is and this is taking this is like I think ten twelve ten thirteen. This is like fifty years before uh, William the Conqueror comes and 
when like when basically like all the French influences come into England. Mm-hmm. So they got invaded again. Oh god! <laughs> and actually, this just show also it also like the whole a lot of the invasion like in his in the actual history it started because um one of the kings of England he started like uh killing all the Vikings that were already settled here for like at least two hundred years. So. What exactly is the king? Does the king have a medical condition, by the way? Because I, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure about that. <laughs> he seems a little decrepit. I just wasn't sure if there was something I was missing with him. Oh, I, I wouldn't know anything about that. Yeah. <laughs> I just know. How far... Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, do you know how far the manga is ahead of the anime? I'm not sure. Like, I haven't looked into like the exact details. Yeah, me neither. But just like. Curious. I assume, I think it was like a monthly manga when it first came out, but even then, it started 10 years ago, so that's at least like, at least like, yeah. Late reading. 120 chapters, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, but um, any ideas on where it's going to go next? Uh, I'm not, I think like, I'm trying to think. Oh, also, I forgot to mention too, um, Thorkill is also a real person. And he did fight for the the English against the Vikings, oh. but but no one but no one knows why. So the author kind of took like creative liberties. During he that. took creative li- liberties to make him a giant. <laughs> I don't know about a giant, but yeah, he did. Like he he was hired by the English to defend against the Vikings. But um, I don't know. Like it has to end of like the duel a duel between like uh, Thornfin and Asla. Because that's the whole reason for Thornfin. <laughs> Do you think that'll happen this season then? I think so. I don't. I remember uh, As Aslod has sort of been my favorite character from the beginning. I definitely because he's morally ambiguous, and so I was curious to see where he was going to go, and his character just keeps developing. Whereas Torfin, I I'm not really sure how I feel about him or his just, motives. Or he just reminds me <laughs> of Aaron. I know just he's like, like a worse version of Aaron because he just gets they're both like so pissed off. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> he, like, he's really one note only. <laughs> yeah, but he did. I mean, people on Reddit were talking about how there's that one episode where he had that dream of basically like, you know, why do you why do you keep fighting? What's all this revenge? And like his dream dad was saying, you know, just go home. <laughs> so I th- I think he himself he's starting to realize that like this is like all like, all those years spending with Asli was just wasted. <laughs> You know, it's weird. I almost don't really consider. Would you say that he is the main character, Tor- Torfin? Like he he doesn't really seem super pivotal to the story no. yet. <laughs> I think it's 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 only because we see everything from his perspective. Yeah. So I mean, I, I guess I do like that outside perspective. But I think it's also because like a lot of things things that are happening in this world is like is like outside of his control, or it's like it's it's happening regardless of what he does. And he's just like reacting to everything, mm-hmm. so that's why he doesn't really have that, that main character feel because like he just he's just reacting to everything. Sure. And that's like that's that's one thing I don't like about main characters is like when you feel like like was when you feel like the sidekickers are interesting. I did find one thing funny about him, and that's his dad. I what was his dad's name? Uh, T- Tours. Tours, yeah. Um, he definitely had a little bit of the Ned Stark syndrome. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I pretty much call that Ned Stark right from the beginning. <laughs> and uh, other than that, yeah, he's just been kind of taking a, a backstory since then. So I'm excited to see where their last duel will go at the end of the season. I can't really imagine it ending any other way. Yeah. But yeah, I don't really have too much else to say about that. I've seen so much in the last week watching all 16 <laughs> episodes. It all kind of blurs together. I mean, I, I just want to say, I still miss the, the first season opening. Yes, absolutely. No question. I agree, too. I don't even watch the show, but I agree. <laughs> Did you hear the second opening? Awful. It wasn't awful. <laughs> mm, compared to the first season? Compared, it was yeah. like, disappointing. Awful. Who did the second season opening? I think the, the mission. Yes, that's right. It's okay. I don't it like just, the second ending, though. I love, I love the second ending. Oh, you do? <laughs> yes. Maybe I haven't heard enough of it. <laughs> I uh, I don't know where you guys watched it on, but I watched it on Amazon. I get I about on Amazon seconds, too. and then it yeah. switches. <laughs> uh, well, I've been I've been keeping up every week, and so I hear the the whole like um the whole song. Sure. So, but I really like it. But 
I think that's yeah. I think that's it for Vinland Saga. I th- Nothing else for me. Okay. So we're gonna um we're actually gonna transition um back to oh actually uh back to my hero academia because we got we got uh lay entrance here Sasha. Hey guys, sorry about that. I had to no, it's all right. Tapes. <laughs> it's all right. It's all good. All right. So we were just um just. Uh, talking just a little bit about My Hero Academia, we were talking about the Night Eye Quark, how he like he sees like uh, what do you in, in our yeah? How yeah. does he do it when he touches someone's eye, or what was it? No, when he touches them and then makes direct eye contact. Oh, Very man. specific things. Yes, <laughs> creeper. <laughs> yeah, that's like. Man. Go ahead. I was saying. Then we also talk about like uh, that after credit scene where. Like he, because he was supposed to be on lookout for that Yakuza guy. And then, of oh, course, Deku ends up running into the little girl being chased by the Yakuza guy. Yes. I think <clears> that's <throat> the way things are set up in My Hero Academia. You know, it's like Deku has to watch out for the kid. And typically, the kid hates him until Deku <laughs> saves them. <laughs> Basically, yeah. That, well, I don't know if this kid's going to hate him, though. Pretty de- Actually, no, because it looked like in the preview that she ends up having to go back. Guys, so she might hate. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. So that could follow it. Look, is there a type of currency on Discord? Let's put five D notes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should set up something like that. How much money we put out for something to happen? Oh, that'd be actually a pretty cool idea. Yep. <laughs> See, actually, there might be bots that can do that. Actually, I wonder what uh what what, lo- what happens to losers though when they run out of D points. Oh man, you don't want to know. <laughs> Future bad. discussions. We'll play it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I will say this. Uh, thoughts on the episode? Pretty decent, but as cool as Night Eye is, I'm excited for Beak Herpes Feather Guy. So that guy, <laughs> I need a little bit more attention on him. I'm sorry, but like to just leave him till the end of the episode and be like, oh yeah. We're looking out for this guy. I'm like, come on, man. Give me some, a little bit more. Let me see him talk a little bit. See how what his reaction was. So I want to see his room. Like, you know how he's a clean freak? <laughs> is his room super clean? <laughs> so, uh, you know what? I, I got to say, like, at this point, we know the heroes enough. I'm more interested in seeing this new villain gang. So uh, that, that part left me a little disappointed. But I can't knock the episode too much. It was still entertaining. Well, that's what the preview's for. It seems like it's going to be a bunch of him next up. You know, Honestly, but- like, the next episode looks really good, though. I like that instant gratification. So I just wanted to see directly where he went. But I, I get it. I get it. It was, it was an informative episode. It built up Night Eye and makes the skill look cool. But man, I'm telling you, bro. What was the, the guy? Too? What's the new guy's name? It's like something like Cheeky Cheeky. Oh, oh. Shie Hasai Kai. I don't. I don't know. Oh man, you're like that teacher when they the first day of students. I know, right? Oh, what's this kid's name? They don't don't, like talk, tell, uh, they don't say his name much, so it's hard to hear the the correct pronunciation. Are we talking about the who the the pelican guy? Yeah, I don't know what we're gonna call him. Um, plate doctor. Wait, did you just call him pelican? (laughs) Only because of the mask, dude. It's a plate doctor, Stratton. I was gonna say, (laughs) I don't know, (laughs) Or, or I also like herpes too. Yeah. Blood herpes guy. That sounds good to me. Yep. Yeah. yeah, basically he's disgusted by his own abilities. The sad thing is I could see that actually, like when he put out his action figure and then they have the tagline <laughs> the Japanese with like blood herpes a guy. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> I can't find this guy. I'm trying to find uh I'm trying to his find name. him. Yeah, well I'm just I'm just looking through like the here academia my uh anime list. It's right there. It's Chisaki Kai. <laughs> oh, Kai. <laughs> So let's just call him Kai, man. Yeah, Ch- Kai's Chisaki? a lot easier. Hmm, okay. Ch- Chisaki Kai. Chisaki Kai? Oh, yeah, man. It, yeah, we'll oh, just call him. I, think I don't Kai. want to go that low. I'll, uh, I'll send, you the, send you the character. Thank you. But. Yep. Ah, uh, yes. Chisaki. Wait, isn't the guy, what color is his, is his hair? I, I swear his hair was like purple in the anime. Something like that, I don't know. Was it? It was, it was very brief. <laughs> Hmm, okay. He kind of, his character design reminds me of um, the different outfits you could wear in Assassin's Creed, but like the Italian Renaissance era. 
Oh yeah. You have to like hide behind the mask and you know right before yep. you assassinate somebody. Yeah. Cool guy though. <laughs> I like I like the little gloves. That's a nice touch. So yeah. I'm excited for him. Do you would you say that this is like the best villain that they've had so far? Or uh mm. would you say uh I'd say most intriguing. Obviously, like if you turned out to be a dud, that'd be pretty lame. But yeah. I'm excited to hear more. I know, like in the past, we we talked about like a uh, kind of like what we thought like, was like the best anime. Villain. And I think like I think uh, well, I said stain uh, so far. I mean, oh, that's yeah. so say stain so far. Yeah, so I, I thought stain was really cool. But cool. <clears throat> no love for the OG, all for one. Jeez, uh, I don't know. I mean, the fight against All Might was cool, but like, oh yeah, it was awesome. Wait, wait. All for one is the bald guy right now, right? With like no yeah. eyes, and no, he's basically like uh, in like restraints and all that stuff. Yeah, he's cool. I, he kind of reminds me of. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say, I um, I was gonna say that one of the scariest moments or the most um intense moments for me though in the show is with Tomura and the mall scene with Deku. Nothing oh, yeah, really was... scared me or made me more nervous than that scene. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if you guys felt the same way. That was actually pretty intense. That yeah. was pretty creepy. Yep. I've had experience like that at the mall, so I had to... <laughs> <laughs> Some guy just holds you. Look at my hand. <laughs> Imagine being a freshman in high school and just literally be life-threatening in a mall. It's like, all right, I, could, I can't relate, but I feel it, dude. Dude, I, I can relate. There's one time on a public <laughs> bus going to community college. I get off at a station, and this big-ass dude just comes up to me. He's just like, hey, you believe when you die, you can go to heaven, or you can go to hell. And I was like, oh my god, mom, I love you, dad, I love you. This guy's about to stab me in the stomach. <laughs> and then he tilts his head down. He has a hat on that says, I love Jesus. He's like, pray for the Lord. <laughs> like, dude, you gotta learn how to approach people, man. This is terrible. <laughs> uh, so, true yeah. story, by the way. Yeah. But that, that actually is a true story, yes. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, hold on, hold on, guys. One second. Okay. Um, well, I mean, I don't know how much more um, there's this really say about Hero Academia that we haven't already said. Yeah, it's it's hard um, to say because like it's still being in the season. So. Yeah. Well, it's like, and it just seems like the next episode is like when like this really like really begins. Um, when like uh like really kind of like those intense intense things kind of happen again. Yes. <clears throat> now the build up begins. Yes. Yeah. Um, All right, um, so I think, uh, do you have anything else to say about my Academia, Sash? No, I've got a chubby so far, and it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna end it for there. We're gonna, um, quickly go to One Piece. I don't know if you saw anything this week or what, anything new happened, so what do you want to say about One Piece? Go ahead. Oh, uh, yeah, so it was a pretty solid episode, entertaining, basically Law and Luffy have met up for the first time since they split apart. Back before the uh, previous arc, I forgot what it's called, the zoo or elephant arc. Um, but it was good. It was just not not that much action in it. You got a village of dying people who are starving and they get fed, which was sweet and endearing. And you know, it reminds you of those old commercials like doo -doo 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 -doo. donate one dollar to save the cat's <laughs> life. Oh god. Yeah, but basically now it seems like um, all the main characters are together. Uh, or at least the ones that are pivotal to this story, and they're climbing to the top of a mountain, which you always know in anime, it's not going to be easy. Probably going to be like a 30-episode arc now about them just climbing, <laughs> but uh, my body is ready. So, uh, yes, yes, it's looking good. Yeah. Um, when, was the, when was the last time like they've actually all... Has it actually been a while, or do they normally... Or is it like so a common thing? When I say all, I don't mean like literally the whole crew. What I'm saying is like I think all the essential characters for this arc... Uh, that being said, I haven't read the manga, so I don't know what's going to happen down the road. But it's been quite a while since Luffy's entire crew has been together. Like, literally, in terms of episodes, probably at least, I'm going I'm to shoot in the dark here, 80 episodes, which would be, what, like, two years' time? <laughs> oh, man, so it's been a while. Yeah, yeah, because one whole arc was just literally Luffy and three or four other characters. And then guys like, uh, you know, Frankie! Um it was totally separated from them. So we didn't get to see Frankie. We didn't get to see Zoro. Uh, I forgot the tall, very sexual girl's name who could seduce you. Um, and Her name's with the men? Oh, no. Brooks. Um, say it one more time. I, I have no idea. 
Uh, Nico Robin. There we go. It was an end. I knew it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, but right now it feels like all the key characters, like the ones you actually want to hear about and see, uh, are actually back. So this is exciting. I'm curious to see because uh, there was an interesting moment where Luffy brings food and water to the village. And he's like, yeah, and the whole village loves him. And he just feels good about it. So he's like, yeah, all right, let's go to the next mission, guys. And Law's like, pirates should do good things. And I was like, that's right, Law. He's the anti-hero. Like I heard you guys say that earlier. He's definitely <laughs> the anti-hero. Where he's just like, dude, I don't want to deal with society's pressures. I just want to be my own man. So it was a good episode. Good episode. And I'm looking forward to the next one. But I think they have a week-long break. And then they jump back into it. So, you know, sad face. Gotcha. Damn, because we were hoping that Peter would get on next week, and then you two be our, our resident resident um One Piece fans. But it's okay. I'm sure we'll still put a spot on there. We'll, we'll argue about the Wano arc. We'll see what he thinks about it. <laughs> is the animation still top notch from this last episode? Or is it still keeping? Yeah, it? it's nice. really good. It's nice. staying consistent. Um, and yeah, very very impressive. Like every I time like... I, I watch an episode, I'm just like, damn, I'm <laughs> this for the rest of the show. I guess it's like only like one of my big concerns with like long running shonens is like because uh, you can have like just epic uh have just an epic episode and then just go to just terribleness for weeks straight mm, that like with true. uh you know uh, episodes like naruto or black clover yep that's why honestly i'll let one piece run for like a month and then i'll catch up and it feels good because you feel like you get more out of that experience than just watching one episode where potentially nothing could happen could be bad but that's a this, good way this arc is really good. So uh, I find myself just feeling like that anime kid again. Like, yeah, this is so good. Yeah. <laughs> Think of it this way. I remember being younger and watching Naruto and not realizing it had filler. And I watched the filler episodes. And I'm like, wow, she can control the emotions by painting. That's so interesting. And then you're like, what the fuck happened to Sasuke and Naruto, man? Like, <laughs> they haven't talked about these guys for like 30 years. <laughs> like for two years. <laughs> and that's when I first got the inkling. I'm like, something's wrong here. Like, what's going on? <laughs> That was like with Boruto for me. I just looked up when it was. Oh shoot, I forgot the guy's name. It was uh, Orochimaru's kid. I was like, damn, this is actually really interesting. I was like, I just wanted to see like where it is in the manga. Can't find it anywhere. Then I find out it's in that whole filler arc. I was like, mm, yes, I'm glad this is still a problem. Yeah, it's. I don't know. I, I just once since it's not written by is it Kishimoto? That yeah, original, yeah, yeah. Since it's not written by him, I just don't care for the story. Yeah, it says. I mean, he says he's like he. I think he oversees it. But you know he's not doing a damn thing with it anymore. Oh yeah, that's just marketing. They're like, yeah. Kishimoto-san, can I use your other name? Yes. No. <laughs> They're like, Kishimoto, we pay you five hundred million dollars. <laughs> yes. I that's suppose. how I see that conversation going. Yep. Exactly. Word for word. Word for word. So yeah, <laughs> that's my take on One Piece. Date bayo, gambaro. All right. So we're gonna hit. And if there, maybe, hopefully Peter gets on next week and gets um, yeah. some. I know if they should make their debut next week that they should be able to have like at least two people that can kind of discuss and go back to back and forth. Calling you out, Peter. God. <laughs> yeah, Peter. I'm calling you out, WWE style. If you don't show up next week. Belt is yeah. on the line. That's right. <laughs> the one piece belt. It's made out of one piece of straw, literally. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going um, to transition to our next show, uh, Shogeki no Soma, or Food Wars, oh, yes. the fourth plate. All right, so hopefully we can get everyone back in the discussion here. Um, basically, what happened in this episode, we saw that uh, Kuga, the, the, the guy who specializes in the Chinese food, he lost to the first seed. And I, I still don't remember like what food were made or like, how they did the cooking, because I don't know anything about cooking still. They had a... I know like they're... Their ingredient that was picked was uh was, was tea? Uh, tea, yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. Tea. yeah, tea leaves. So, one dude tea. made like some sort of puree <laughs> out of each and every tea. I'm like, all right, dude. I mean, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, between those both of those, like uh <laughs> cuckoos look so much better. The other one just looked it, it looked just terrible. I don't know. As a man who loves sauce on my food, like sauce is boss, man. Like it it seems legit. Yeah, yeah. Because like, cause um because uh, the first tea guy, he, like, I don't know, it just, it looked very, like, very, like, not filling <laughs> to eat compared to, like, Kuga's, which is, like, all oh, this yeah. is meat drenched in sauce. Yeah. So let me oh, ask you man. a saucy Maybe... question. Have any of the episodes dealt with food poisoning? 
No. Um, this is this is like what uh, what is it like the the best food quality there. It's like gourmet there's, food. So. Yeah, there, there's no food poisoning here. That's not allowed in anime. Besides, like Soma's like weird experience. Trolling. Yeah, he basically yeah. just trolls with like, the most disgusting things in the world and has people try them. Yeah, but it's still good to the point where it doesn't make you sick. It just tastes horribly. Yeah. I don't know, man. Some of those things he has he puts together sounds awful. <laughs> of course, it sounds awful. I think there's a good chance of getting sick. I think food poisoning would be a good thing to add in an episode. Somebody framing somebody else. Um, <laughs> no, that that's a that's a serious off. aspect that's not needed in this in this uh, yeah. anime. Uh, we just eat orgasms <laughs> and delicious yeah. food. I'm sorry, what was that? Orgasms? Food gasms. <laughs> food gasms. Oh, food gasms. Yeah. Oh, Where the food tastes so all good, gasms. you know, basically your 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 your, uh, your clothes just kind of fly off of you, and you're just basically, you know, on the verge of busted. Wait, wait, out of which hole, though? The, the front or the back hole? Probably all of them. <laughs> so, Call some of them sir. Some of, the, some, of the, some of the animation, it's just like, it's coming from... <laughs> oh, man. Also, anyway. um, I don't know if anyone like, like, uh, mentioned this last week, because like, cause I think someone was saying that uh, whether it's a win or lose, I don't... I wasn't keeping track, but they basically all lost this uh, second round. Yeah, all I called them. it. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was me. I, I thought that it would be at least a tie, or he would make like a miraculous win, but uh, I guess not. It was more for, I guess, uh, Kuga's character development, which I think is kind of weird and pointless because he's not even one of the main characters to begin with, right? They had Kuga's arc so long ago too. Yeah, so I don't understand why they're like emphasizing on this guy. Yeah. So that was, car- yeah, that, that was like a miss hindsight on me, I suppose, but. I don't see I mean, what the point of that was. Yeah, it was like slight character growth, but I think just about everybody can kind of uh, probably could have seen that his loss was coming up because it's just like if you watch the the opening or anything, it just seems like it's just you know it's just ramping up to uh, number one seed uh, and Soma in the finals. Like that's what I assume it's going to be. I don't think they're going to just gonna unless they just completely throw us off with something. See, like I I I don't know, I just don't see them like. Doing something that crazy, I think it's just right, it's set up for like Soma versus first seed. Yeah. The only crazy thing I think is this: if like first seed gets knocked out, and then Soma has to like face against like the the school head. I could see something like that. And then maybe just like a like side of the. whole... Uh, I don't know. It seems kind of like a big reach, but who's the red hair guy? I'm looking at some of the artwork. Main guy, Soma. Soma. Yeah. He's the guy that makes that makes like disgusting things, and uh, the guy that we all root for. Well, did you guys watch the ending scene too? Like after the end credits? Yep. Yeah. So that shit's about to get real. Mm. That guy's shit's awesome. About to... Oh my god! It's about to light a fire in that arena. <laughs> <laughs> that guy was—he's got to be like one of my favorite, one of my favorite characters from the show, though. Just from like still when uh, when Soma uh, challenged that guy to a shokugeki. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, that's like one of the best I still got beef against him for doing that to Megumi. I think that's fucked up. Yeah, that is true. But it seems like it seems like he's here to coach Megumi in this. Uh, really though? I mean, what else? I mean, I think he's I mean, he's definitely on their side. He, well, there's like, no way he's on the other. It's side. about to start soon, so I don't know how yeah. much coaching you can do. Right. Yeah. So okay. I want I want you guys to make predictions on like who's going to win and lose this next round. Dude, this next round seems uh, it seems tough. It can almost seem like I don't, can go... I don't I don't I think the only one's going to win is just Soma. Yeah, no, no, I mean no. Soma's a given, but. No, with the point that's threatened me, though, maybe maybe that's the case, right? Like, maybe she's about to lose against the pastry chick, but then with, like, Shinomiya is, like, uh, like cheering her up to, like, give her confidence in her cooking, maybe she'll pull out a win somehow. I think Aldini's going to lose because he's always losing for some reason, and it's almost <laughs> going to win. <laughs> that's got to be how it goes, right? Um, I, think, I, think, I think the reason why someone's going to win is because, like, uh, his opponent, like, so, like, he was he already he already did the the round yet the day before so he's already like fatigued so I think they just got given the win just to say like oh I wasn't at my my full my full health that's why you beat me. Well, I mean it is almost specialty too, right? With butter, I mean he works at a diner, so he's more accustomed to working with that ingredient. And then his yeah. uh, his opponent's the guy that works at sushi. He's sushi. Chef. I don't think they use butter that often or at all. So. I don't think they do, but like they'll find a way. I think like they just got like just. Use just use that. Just mainly lean on the fact that he's tired in his second, his second round. Mm. Then that's, that's making it more plausible that that someone would win. 
See, yeah, it's it's really just stacking just to make solo. I do think though that I actually think that Megan Wien will win, and I think then she'll she'll end up facing uh, uh, the, the red haired girl. Yeah, yeah, second seed. I think that's Ringo. where I think that's where it's yeah I think that's where it's going to end. But I do think though she's actually going to win this round. Um, and then I uh, like I don't know, dude. I almost think that all of them might sweep. But if I had to guess, if somebody's going to lose, it's going to be Aldini. Aldini, it's going to be Aldini, <laughs> yeah, right? It's going to be Aldini. Yeah, it's like cool. I forgot. <laughs> what were you like? Who did you think was going to win? It was just. Soma Megumi. Soma Megumi? Okay. Yeah. So yeah, so, so I think that it's just Soma, and then Ku thinks it's just it's Soma, Megumi, and Stren, you think that they'll all go win? No, I, I think there's a part of me that thinks they, they will all win, but if I had to choose somebody to lose around, it's Okay. Because, like, I don't know, that, that guy, he's, like, almost, like, overlooking Eldin, just wanting to get the Soma. So usually when that happens, you end up losing. But usually. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they're both on a lose streak right now. <laughs> they're both losers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not yet. That hasn't happened yet. We can't say that yet. No, see, Aldine has taken a loss before, and then, like, the other guy, the eighth seed, he's taking two big losses already, so... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah right? So maybe he's going to take a third loss. Who knows? Yeah. He's going to do the hat trick. Yeah, because well, cause it's like, well, how many... They're already down to, like, what, 5v5? So it's just like... Yep. It's already kind of coming down to the... Yeah, it's already kind of coming down to the end. Mm-hmm. But, so I'm kind of surprised they're saving uh, like Erina for last. Like I'd imagine they'd want to use her first, right? No, their strategy just is to wear down, have everyone basically wear down the the opponent, so then she can come in as like the final, like the like as like the final um, contestant, and just like clean up who's ever left. I don't know. There's a part of me. Oh, go ahead. Oh no! So, so I'm guessing in that case, and it's gonna be like the the final two bouts gonna be like Soma versus the first seed, and then Arena's versus the second seed, and that'll be like the final two bouts. And mm-hmm. I guess like their dads are gonna go at it too as a third contestant. Are they? I don't, I don't think they're gonna so. go. Probably not. Probably but I'm know. saying like I could see it happening, right? It's, if it's usually a three and three battle that they're doing, but then they're down to five people already, they're gonna make it happen so that there's only two students from each team left over, and then to make it interesting. The, the leaders from each group is going to step up, like Soma's dad versus Erina's dad, right? I can okay. I can kind of see that happening. I know uh, for me, I, I kind of think like with uh, <clears throat> like let's just say this this round's just going to like you know Soma wins, but it just takes everything out of him and to like to rest, recuperate or whatever. Then I think that Erina will step in, take his spot, and then lose, and then uh, then uh, Soma will then uh, play the the next the next day. That's what I think. Cause it just seems like they have like that, uh, like that possible duo. Cause like if they, I wouldn't even have thought about that, but it's just basically can't stand because they cook so hard. I'm thinking, hmm, they're definitely gonna use this some you know, at some point in the future too. Hey man, fatigue's a thing. It's not something they're making up. They agreed for how intense they cook food. I would agree. Right. Yeah. Yeah, unless you're like Solomon, where you stay up for like two days straight testing recipes. Yeah, like, and perfectly fine. That's like yeah, yeah, you know. Yep. I'm fine. Yep, and still how, cooking the best food you? possible. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like it's a two-year difference. I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Even when I had youth, I definitely was not that. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna comment. All on right, that. So, I think. That's <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, guys! I can't make a comment. I'm sorry. Not right. of this podcast. God damn it, guys! Okay, so I think that's it for Shogeki Osoma. I think so. So we're gonna transition over to Fire Force, and so. Um. Yeah. I love we'll Trend. No, B- you, Benny's the best you, character. You, you make the opening statement, Trend. Um, I mean, basically, this episode, you just got to see how ba- how badass Benny Morrow is. And then just that, that sweet animation. That's really it. I mean, I don't even know if there was that much of a story. It was just like it was tons of fighting. Um, you just basically got to see Benny Morrow become like the. Uh, what was it? Of seven? Yep. Yeah, he, he's a he's yeah he's a seventh captain. Yeah, seventh captain. Yeah, you basically just got to kind of see him take the take the reins, become like the the new leader. Since that one guy is a um, was it can't use his almost a quirk. What is it called? Uh, t- it's like t- what, what are the ability with fire? Where it's just like I mean, like if the guy fire uses, or something. Like, I just know there's like yeah. second and third generation. Yeah. So basically, if the guy uses like any more fire, he's just, you know be set ablaze. So yeah. I just kind of showed him, just kind of like take the lead and just uh. Just to like you know, unite everybody and just actually unite everybody through chaos in a way, but it worked. Basically, totally run to beat each other up. 
Yeah, just yep. beat the living hell out of each other and you will find them. <laughs> Seems legit. But yeah, this this episode definitely just made me like think like like Benny Benny Morrow's like the my favorite character. Yeah, he's pretty OP, but yeah, like, uh, his I, abilities are really OP. <laughs> yeah, but then I think story wise, what what did they really do? They just kind of opened up the fact that maybe uh, the MC has like a hidden ability. Maybe that's why him yeah. is well, the chosen. Because um, when he was fighting yeah. the uh, that other guy, they revealed that he was um he was one of the chosen ones for like the flame or something. Like mm-hmm. I forgot what the name was called, but. Man, I don't, I don't remember either. But yeah, he's like he, he's, he's yeah. like a, he's like a special case where I think he's like close to like the pure form of flame or something. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's meant to extinguish mankind, but <laughs> he's gonna change it to revive mankind. So, right. So I guess we'll see what happens with that. And then uh, didn't we make a prediction about how that bull girl is gonna turn good? Right, the assassin chick. Oh yeah, uh, I I thought she was gonna switch over. Yeah, but uh, I guess the, her and like the other two guys, they kind of just left. So yeah, nothing's going on with them. So I think she's gonna come back, years. like probably maybe maybe in the next arc. But I think she's gonna come back like during this season. Well, which might be intriguing, but the fact that because like the MC has that ability and he's not like he's not he doesn't have the same ideals as the evangelist group, that maybe that's why she's gonna like take interest in him and try to follow his route instead. See, if there's a difference. Maybe, yeah. The only thing is that, like, um, they sh- she mentions that he also has the same ability as their commander, which I assume is his little brother. Mm. Yeah, I assume that's that's the guy. Yeah, because it sounds like he has the same uh, ability too. Not not the same ability. I'd say they have the same like pure flames. Similar? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. But I want to say they have the same abilities because I guess from the looks of it, he has like I guess if you classify it, he has like the true demon's feet power, I guess, and then his brother would have like maybe his arms or hands or whatever. Because he was like wearing like some sort of armor. I mean, last time we saw him, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. He yeah. just looked. Yeah, he looked like him, but with I think white hair. Yeah, basically, yeah, and the same creepy smile. Yep. So, a question about one of the character designs here. Um, mm-hmm. I see an Atsushi Okubo. Okubo. Um, shoot, who was that guy? Uh, uh, it's a female and. She seems to be wearing very uh, questionable clothing for someone being involved in assume firefights. Oh, uh, the kitty girl, right? Uh, no, what, what was the name? She's wearing uh, a bikini top, and then she has very large gaping holes in her pants that are supposed to protect. That, her that's from that's dirty um, birds. that's Tamaki, I think. What, what was the name you said? Uh, the name is Atsushi Okubo. Atsushi. Uh, I don't. I will. Uh, that might be somebody. Oh shoot! Yeah, that's uh, Tamaki. That's, that's Tamaki. Yeah. yeah, Tamaki. Yeah. So I, I'm no, just I, curious. I should see Yokubo. I think that's the author's name. Oh, oh! I apologize. So I mean, it's like <laughs> that's the that's the guy who wrote this in, in Soul Eater. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, that's, uh, that's bad, they got the number seven. I thought it was like a number seven person in the race. <laughs> 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 oh, that's okay. Um, no, this. Uh, the the thing with um, Fire Force, it's a, it's the creator of uh, Soul Eater, and he having a lot of etchy stuff in his stuff, in or in his uh, in his uh, writing, okay. and in Fire Force, this girl is basically like a, I would just assume everything that was Soul Eater, where it's just like she has like a bad luck thing where ba- it just where everything ends up being like etchy with her, like people will just uh, just end up running into her, groping her, or ripping clothes off, you know. Wait, really? So that's what happens? Yep. yep. Only to her though, because she has some bad luck thing. Yeah, hmm. she's the fan service embodied in this ep- uh, yeah. show. Yeah, he had to throw it in somewhere, so all on her. Is she ever getting a train in the show? Uh, <laughs> no. Or a bus. No, okay. I think that might be the end of her character arc. <laughs> I just go to work today. Ah! <laughs> all right, I got to ask another question. I'm sorry, guys. Uh-huh. Um, a trumpet guy with a bell just looks like I, w- I would not want to be around him. Oh, uh, so he can neutralize any flames and turn it to ice. Yeah, he's from the first company, I remember. Wow, interesting. Yeah, he's yeah, pretty, uh, pretty sheep. Wait, what's up? No, he looks like he's like a sheep herder based on his... <laughs> like. I can see that, yeah. I can see something yeah. where he, he heard something. Hmm, interesting choice. So what do you guys think? Uh, have you watched Soul Eater? How does it compare to this? I didn't watch Soul Eater. I, I didn't watch Soul Eater either. Yeah. Um... The main uh, character kind of reminds me of Luffy. I'm not gonna lie, with his like 
feet on fire. Um, I can, yeah, I can kind of see that. I, I don't yes. know, like that. Because he does a lot of um break dancing attacks because he's yeah break dancing because he's attacking with his feet. Nice. It basically, it's just like uh, he just like uh, in a way, just shoots fire out of his. Why, uh, do just crazy moves with it? Um, I don't know. So far, it's uh, I'm I'm liking the show more than I was like, um, maybe like I would say maybe five six episodes ago. There was like kind of like a lull in the middle where I'm just where they were focusing a lot on just like uh, especially when they introduced her the the cat girl. Um, and they were just, it was just a lot of just stupid fan service where it's just like, they were, it, it just looked like they were forcing it in. Um, and they've kind of gone away from that more. It's become kind of more serious. There's a lot, a lot more character development. You're learning more about the, about the, the enemies. It's, uh, it's getting much better. So uh, wait, is this the first season? Yeah. First season. Uh, yeah, it's on, uh, so far there's been 14 episodes. They've, uh, for at least it's going up to 20 that we know of. Okay. Yeah. So. So yeah, I'd, I'd say this. for me. Oh, no, go ahead, sorry, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. All right. Uh, very nice dinner by Soma with a partner of your choice, or your apartment's <laughs> burning down, and one of these guys can save you. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take Soma. All right. I'm gonna take Soma just because, like, uh, when the fire, like, they don't. Well, I guess the fires that are in this, it's basically it's uh people that turn into. Uh, I, I don't want to say demons. They're uh, what? What, are, what else are they when they turn? When they basically be well, they call infernals. But... Infernals, yeah, mm. yeah. It's like they end up like becoming like uh, on fire and they become the, the infernals, and then they have to exterminate the infernals, which is like kind like, of like zombies, I guess. Maybe like where they can't really, or they lose like all. They most of them lose all consciousness, and then you have to kill them to save them. To save them. Wow. Yeah, that's deep. Yeah, I mean, there's an episode where like like this girl lost like. Her dad and he, he basically was just like I just sat on a, the dinner table because he knew like that he had to sit still so it doesn't like hurt anyone else. And then like the fire force had to come in and just basically like give him mercy killing just so he couldn't he wouldn't suffer anymore. Yeah, they have some pre- they've had some pretty good episodes. Other ones are just like yeah, move on. Okay. Um, but yeah, this last episode I thought was their I thought it was like one of their best ones yet just because I think Benny Morrow is awesome. Yes, Benny Hanna's cousin. Yes. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Like for me, though, the shows are kind of going up and down. Like there's some oh, yeah, thing. There's some parts where it's like, yeah, I know it's supposed to be story driven, but I feel like it's not really added onto the. But I guess yeah. I just want more action scenes, so that's why I like this episode mm-hmm. as well. This episode was definitely fan service in yeah. a different way. <laughs> well, I, I want more. Um, I want more world building because I'm. I really want to know more about like this fire world. So that's more what I'm more interested in. I feel like we're not going to get to get to that though. Like, I think it's just like these twenty four episodes in the uh, in the was it the the where were they? Um, I can't remember what they're called. What the season or yeah for for this season like they, how they have like uh, <laughs> they have like eight different um eight different what are, what are they called companies? Yeah, sure. Where it's just all going to be taking place in one place. It's not going to be coming up like a. Or it's not gonna like go like outside of it. Besides, like maybe with the, the the crazy the crazy religious people. I guess we still don't know where they are. Oh yeah, let's just try to figure out the end. evangelists. Yeah, those guys. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I'd say the by districts. the time season Jesus, one ends, eight districts. yeah, I think by the time this uh, the season ends, they'll probably just figure out where the base is, and then it's gonna end with it trying to like lead up to a big fight. With his brother, maybe. Yeah, but yeah, I don't think they're According actually gonna be any major. Yeah, same. But all right, you guys so have anything else? Yeah, one question. Do you guys know if the dub if is potentially out? Like, I don't know how. I remember the first time I realized they do dubs almost immediately now is when My Hero Academia had a dub out. Um, I'm only just curious to hear other voice actors and see how they do. But do you guys? Uh, have any I'm not out? sure. I don't. I, wanna, I don't keep track of dubs, but I, I would be surprised. Dub, but there's not up to date. Okay, got it. Yeah. Uh, so far, I mean, on anime list, it for voice actors, it only shows the Japanese. So I'm guessing they don't have it planned yet, or... I mean, I, I would think one of these shows, like, this show will definitely... Oh, no, no, yeah. they do. They have one guy. But I don't know if it's, uh, I don't know if it's aired yet. Like, if it's licensed by Funimation, it almost, it almost will, like, always have a dub. Yeah, yeah so they, they do have an English voice actor for, uh, um, for the main guy. 
uh, Shinra. Okay. So I would assume like it's it's it, it, it's at least planned. Um, I don't know what episode. Yeah. Sometimes it takes like, maybe like a year for the dubs to come, but like if it's popular, no, sometimes it takes like it, it's like it's like only two or three episodes behind. There's it's animation usually dubbed. Dubbed. It's nice. on. There's 14 episodes dubbed. Okay, okay yeah. So oh, yeah, it's really? it's a, it's oh, a like, uh, Whoa. Yeah. yeah so because if it's if it's by Funimation, they do simul dubs where um, the, the the dub is like out like pretty much like the same day as the sub. Oh, okay. nice. Good to know. This will be a nice little study for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you enjoy yourself, sir. <laughs> oh, I will. Sponsored by KY Jelly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, well, so I think that's it for Fire Force. Uh, we're going to move on to Dr. Stone. Dude, I love Dr. Stone. This was a pretty emotional episode. Yeah, I was, I was tearing up, dude. <laughs> What a guy. Uh, All right, but first, I want to say, they look so much alike, but they say they're not blood related. Yeah, I'm like, yo, fuck? that's a bunch of pulse. Yeah, maybe, do we know if they're cousins, uncle, or something? Maybe, like, something happened to his real... I don't know, but... No, I mean, Dude. I guess I guess to put it in an aspect of, like, what, Adam and Eve, right? Like, the bloodline is so diluted that I'd guess they're not related anymore, right? I guess but, that would be the case. But they would have to be, like... Like, it, he would have to be, like, like an uncle even... or something, though. There's, There's no way. The probably, I mean, yeah, probably, probably back, adopted but... or something. Or, yeah, it's got to be something. By, yeah. by family. I, mean, but... I, I was just thinking, they look so much alike to not be blood. Really. Yeah. yeah. I mean, maybe it's because they're all like Japanese, I guess, or Asian. So eventually they just start to blend in together, I guess. But... Sure, that's racist. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to make facts, right? Just trying to put two and two together. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like, he, uh, like uh, his dad's not really his dad, right? So I guess like it doesn't matter if they are. I mean, if, even if he was, it's like the way that genetics work. It's like if he's so diluted, like like you were saying, who? Yeah, like it doesn't like, matter. Because people on Reddit were, were like talking about this too, and like people, like a lot of people on Reddit were having this oversimplified view of how you know genetics and how family genealogy works. Mm-hmm. This is three thousand years later. Like it's so far diluted. That means you spit yeah. the smash. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and, so and, put it out there. well, and people are yeah. also saying that, like, <laughs> that, um, like, you know, it, it, when you start with a small population, that it's gonna have a genetic bottleneck. But again, like, people don't realize that just because, like, you're marrying within like a small population, it doesn't automatically mean that you're gonna have like genetic defects or anything. It's just a more likely a higher chance. I mean, recently, isn't like the UK is like the royal family? Didn't they believe in that stuff too, where you have to marry within the bloodline or that's, within that's a family? Royal families in, in Europe in general. Yeah, right. that's, that's, a lot. that's not the Habsburg. They see what's what's happened to them, and a lot of um, royal families got um, what whatever that disease is, like I think hemophobia, where like if you get cut, it doesn't heal. Oh, really? So because because it was a genetic issue. disease, because they kept oh. marrying everyone's family. Oh, okay. So. But yeah, but I wouldn't worry too much about like the whole genetics thing. It's like it's so far off in the future, and like, dude, that that dad, or I guess we, I'm just gonna call father him father figure. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna say dad. That dad, he was like, I have so much faith in my son. I'm I know in the world. That's I'm gonna leave everything to him. I'm gonna just try to set it up. I'm like, yo. Like, you had the most confidence in your son I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, I mean, to be oh fair, like, <laughs> to be fair, his son, super smart, built him a suit to just to get True. him like, ready to be an astronaut. He was like, yeah, that suit doesn't work. Like, it, it, the suit doesn't work at all. I just had to learn how to swim. But it got him to swim. I mean, maybe with the suit work, I can see where his confidence comes from. But the fact that his suit sucked and it didn't work, where yeah, where does his confidence come from? Right? It's, like, uh, hey, it's just it's just a father's undying love. All right, he's not, he's not his dad. He's not his real dad. All right, father figures. Like, <laughs> just because you're not biologically related doesn't mean you can't love each other. All right. Yeah, but the whole I don't know the whole thing where it was basically like all like the was it like a hundred was it a hundred stories? Yep. Yeah, a hundred uh, stories. Basically, just to influence everybody, just to kind of like uh, of like the old ways and. Um, and just like, uh, I don't know, but the, well, the part that like really got me is basically when, um, was it when Senku just kind of went on his own thing and you basically just see him, him tearing up from the whole thing. Yeah. I really like that because, oh. um, it really humanizes Senku because we always see like these scientist types is just like, just the only thing about was just like, is just Science. logic and like, yep. yeah, their own thing. But like, 
like we've seen so so many times like that Senku, you know, he does like have emotions and he has to like make hard decisions too and like and he and he really does like like misses like, you know, his 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 family and his old life. Yeah. Well, I think there was like in in a way like uh I think Senku uh thought that his dad might be somewhere still alive and I think just like knowing that he was he was alive was 3700 years ago that you know he's not there anymore. So I think that was also kind of like realizing like he's you know he's he's definitely passed on. He's like he can't save him. Yeah. <clears throat> but I don't know. The whole thing was good. even when even the flashback with uh uh his dad and uh was the guy German? Russian? What was his name? Russian. Yeah. Russian. Even even like that whole thing was was really good too. I think that at that part, I think even like during that part, I had to pause to wipe out the tears. Oh, when when he was saying like, oh, like I had fun or whatever. Or yeah, like, God, yeah, that whole I thing hit me so hard. I was like, oh my God, dude. <laughs> the ramen was good, man. Dying, he's like, I had fun, guys. Thank yeah. you. I was like, oh Lord. Or even when they just show the like the whole flashback of basically like how like these people are just getting knocked. And it's just like kind of like uh, going back to like when he uh, when Senku saved that um, that girl's that girl's sister of pneumonia. Uh, and it's yep. just like it's just like damn, dude, this guy got this that like, got all this stuff from just scratch to make uh to make uh, uh, the cure, yeah, the all cure or cure all and thing then or whatever. the cure all, yeah. And then his dad basically like what well, to be like they had no idea what it was, and then he found it was basically just pneumonia, and he yeah. couldn't do anything about it. And like that's why um the the other guy was super pissed too. It's like because we we take for granted that ammonia is like not really a life threatening for yeah. for like our modern age. For but like us. You, yeah. But like if you had like no hospitals or in modern medicine, like that shit will kill you like so fast. Yeah, and then you have those two people. It's like it's like oh we'll we'll find medication, and they never came back. <laughs> Yeah. I'm surprised like one in the flashback too they show like Lillian they look like she died like pretty young too so like yeah but we don't know so are we just assuming they all pass away from pneumonia or other causes that we just don't know I don't know no. about the I don't know about the dad because it seemed like he was he died of old age I, I yeah. would assume yeah my call would be old age with him so like I assume that like he was the one taking care of all the kids after like everyone yep. passed like, yeah. on yeah but that, that whole thing was just like really, really I, I don't know yeah. I'm loving the show. Like but it's definitely, next, like, it's gotten good. The next few episodes will be pretty hyped, though, right? Because I'm yeah, yeah. yeah. war starting to occur. Yeah, the basically. Wars. Yeah, oh. I was Rose is still alive. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, like, yeah, I wasn't expecting this much like emotions for like a uh, you know science show, but yeah, but yeah, um, that's really like. Do you think we're gonna see um uh the the two people like the guy? I forgot the names. Like the the guy and that one chick from earlier who were supposed to be spies. In Sakasa's I think group. we'll see them as a preview at the end of the episode. You think so? Yeah. Because I wonder what uh, happened. Um, again. Yeah. Uh, well, oh no! Oh, you're talking about the his two two friends, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Well, well. Well. To be fair, um, like you think uh, Sakasa he would even like let them in? Like, wouldn't he be suspicious? Well, okay. The only thing we know is that Sukasa just knows others are alive, but I don't. I, but but he doesn't know that Senku is still alive. So I think those two people are still are fine. I uh, I feel like I said do like the the shonen thing where like when uh, that guy lied, I think he's gonna see through the lie, and so I think he would have been prepared for Senku to be alive. You think so? Probably. Yeah. Uh, for a dude, man that's like legit as strong as a like, goddamn dude, lion. Like, lion. Yeah. Dude, the first episode, man, you were just like ranting on about that from from him how like like how Senku was gonna go make weapons and. Immediately, because of that, oh, they're obviously yeah. like weapons. Oh like, god, worst part of the show. Like I remember, you were ranting about that during the first was, podcast episode. It was the worst. So, it was just like, oh my god. So that's that's why I think, I think it's gonna happen again here, where like where Sakasa realizes that like the guy lied, and he knows Senku is alive. Hmm. But but isn't Gen basically known for just deceiving? Like, yeah, that's why he's, isn't that his why, ability? He, why he's way? suspicious? Because he knows that he's deceiving. Yeah, that, yeah, that could be. And like they're all from the same time period too, so they're all from like the same like. Yeah. So I think I think maybe he would have heard about Gen. Yeah, that's 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 true. Um, but well, the thing is, like with Sukasa, though, like he he actually, or because he actually seems like somebody that's not going to do anything unless it's actually. Hmm. Um. So I think I think they would be. F- My guess is I think they would be fine, or they're, I mean, still alive, <laughs> at least. But uh. I don't know. I don't. I don't know how the word like the like the for like the preview for the next episode because it, it sounds like they're on their way. But didn't didn't Tsukasa have just a massive army of just 
yeah, giant like dudes. He, yeah, it seems like he did, but uh, it's like he, they showed like a picture of him in a cave, like when a long time ago, yeah. went back, but. You know, they didn't really show much in the preview. It just showed like the name of the title is Stone Wars. So. Yeah, yeah. So next episode, it's I assume it's going to be just setting I hope, up. I hope I hope Saiku makes like a bunch of like catapults. <laughs> See, I'm thinking either that or I. I just I'm just thinking that they might just they can't take them and just move just yeah, move on somewhere else. Because it's just I don't know. It. I mean, they have a few people that's like really like uh, that seem strong, but I mean, if Sukasa has been only reviving people that are like like him. Uh, I think they're pretty screwed. No, I think dude, the, the, the OG. Just, believe in the OG. Yeah, he was just planning <laughs> to revive <laughs> people who aren't adults, right? Is that what he was going for? Yeah. Yep. But it's like he's gonna revive like all like the sports like kids or like, the, yeah. all the jocks. All the ones who can... just think of like a weightlifting room. That's all he was going for. <laughs> 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 like, these giant meatheads. It's, like... it's like, all right, here you go, dude. Yeah. Where he just looks at a bro, you lift, and then just revives yeah. him. <laughs> What's your bench squat? And yeah. Then lift? Nope. <laughs> Uh, plus, plus, like Seku just became like village chief. I doubt he's gonna uh, be able to convince everyone to move from the village when they don't even know like anything about Sukasa. I don't know. I, I mean, I think like uh, I think they'll have faith in him, but it's more of just kind of deciding like what what's what Seku decides. I think they will follow him though, like whatever he decides, because it seems like they're. I mean, they, they he he just he, he just cured uh, Ruri, Rudy. Yeah, yeah, so, so I'm, I'm pretty sure they're, they're following him now because he is the chief now and he's been acknowledged as the chief. So. Yeah, and it sounds like Ru- I mean, she was sick her entire life and this guy just came in like uh, like nothing and healed her. So I wonder I wonder if he was, like if she was, because like, cause if it was a no- pneumonia, I don't know if that's something you get your entire life, but I don't know. I, don't know. That, that, that doesn't really matter. But, no. Well, like like Senku said, the sister bringing like that spring. Oh, the hot spring. Yeah. Like, yeah it Kept it at bay. Saved her life. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I forgot about that. I don't think that actually is, but that's what Same. Did. Yeah, I should have looked looked it up. Didn't. <laughs> but... <laughs> is this realistic to save a num- person? Next week. I don't know. I just, I just want to see Senku build catapults and like, I don't know what else. What what other more war machines he's going to build? I just want Senku to kick ass. And I'm building a nuke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that might take a while. But you guys got anything else? Uh, no. Good show. Uh, I'm excited. sure we'll have a lot more to talk about next week. Yeah, I'm excited for where this goes. So we're gonna yep. end it right there for Doctor Stone. We're gonna turn this into Sword Art because I guess some of us have some some intense feelings on this week's episode. A few things to talk about, but first we should have uh Brian kind of catch up because he was halfway through the first season of Alcization, and this I saw he finished it. Oh, your thoughts? Yeah. Um. Uh, rip that man. Uh, Kirito. That that dude got screwed. Like hella hard. This man is just a straight vegetable. No. Well, not exactly, but the man got yeah, close so enough. Fucked. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you go from this badass dude, this dual wielding swords, fighting gods and shit, and then this guy just gets you know power outage and then just dies. <laughs> Dude. I mean, he doesn't die. It's like his well, brain. Might as well be dead. <laughs> his brain just gets like electrified. So like he can he can come back. It's just like it's just he's just damaged. This man is just in a coma, getting wheeled around in a wheelchair. It's like that's a real feels bad. How do so like? How do you think that the ending went with when the, the fight against the administrator? Like what? Oh, what that oh, sequence yeah. events? Completely skipped over that. that. What the hell kind of ending to that guy? This dude turned into a giant inferno and just gets fucking sniped. It's like, all right, dude. In the same episode, too. I'm like, what the fuck is this? And then, uh, that was like the jester, dude. And then the crazy lady. Administrator. The yeah, like, yeah. Pon- effects, yeah. This, she's actually just insane. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna sacrifice half the population just to make weapons to just save Thanos. The area. It's like, Okay, you're insane. I mean, this is like because she, because remember, she like she realizes that she's just an AI that lives into in a virtual world. So, I guess at that point, it's like you can do whatever you want if you realize that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's just intense. Imagine sacrificing like three and a half billion people to save the Earth, dude. Is it worth? Yes. I mean, All right, well, <laughs> again, again, Thanos. Thank you. 
true. That, hey, that is, hey. I guess that is a, like a thing. Would, you, would you rather lose three and a half billion or seven billion, sir? I'll go with seven, dude. Restart okay, well, you're just fucked up. See, this is why Thanos <laughs> is love. This is why people Thanos like Thanos great buddies. <laughs> I get him, all right? And there's not enough food for everybody. We need to sacrifice half the population. Otherwise, we're all going to starve and die. Or we risk the biscuit and just don't sacrifice <laughs> anybody and, like, maybe, like, ten people die. Right? This is this just a game teaser? Maybe. You, you I mean, risk 3.5 billion people for the sake of 3.5 billion people? No. No. Cool. I don't feel so good. <laughs> oh, you were chosen. I'm sorry, sir. Just look at the drill. Uh. Uh. Yeah, but anyways, moving on to like current shit. It's like this man is. I I want to know how many episodes is it gonna take until Kirito isn't in a coma. So okay, so because I because I think once like Asuna jumps in, like I think like if I like the when she gets in, she sees Kirito, she's probably gonna get revived or something like that. Because I think that's what they're setting up for. I don't know. Well, yeah. one thing I had with, with Asuna when she was saying, oh, we just need somebody to just tell him, like, he was doing a great job. I'm thinking, like, that's why Asuna's there. Asuna's been talking about this this entire damn time. Like, it's, I don't know. Yeah, but he needs to hear it from his wife. Ugh, yeah, suppose. bro. Relax, right? I why are you hating on married couples? I'm not technically hating on the married couple, okay? I'm just, I'm, I'm hating on, like, the way that this is, like story has been written. No, 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 tell me more, Shrine. I want to hear this. Okay, so... <laughs> Uh, like I, I really liked the like uh I thought the first uh, part of Alicization was was really good, um and then it's like not till after that like, where you start looking at it, like because I knew like there's people that really like sword art and there's people that really hated it there wasn't really anybody in the middle, um but then people would kind of like make comments here and there about blah, blah, blah. and then um I noticed like when the I don't even know like the 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 U S guys the bad guys. Yeah. Um, when they were talking about how like oh like oh let's just make a new characters and go in it's like oh we can only make you know uh like the civilization guy. And he's like, but we have these broken OP characters oh, on the bad yeah. guy side that, that have no my. that have no that rules. Shit. Literally, <laughs> middle of the episode, I got so heated. I was like, you guys <laughs> created this game yeah. to make literally an AI to clone, and you guys want to keep all these parameters locked for creating a human character, but you don't want to put any sort of security on the opposite side where they're legit. Over double the level and a bunch of question marks. Like y'all are actually stupid. Yep. Like, don't be making games no more, dude. Y'all just need yeah. to stay uh-huh. this shit. Immediately, if you're doing y'all anything with security, stupid. yeah. If you're doing anything with security, I was like, come on, you leave the broken guys, and of course the bad guys open. Yeah, I mean, that, that's like that, that's like one of the main criticisms of the author is that like he doesn't he's play terrible. games, Ugh. so like he makes like, these MMO stories, but he does. He's not a gamer, so like. Yeah. That's why that's why a lot of it's just dumb because like he's, he's not a gamer. Yeah, even like those conversations of people, I'm just thinking like like I just keep thinking like this this guy has really no issue like any idea what he's talking about. And it just seems it just seems off. But then also the thing too is like like this is so many years after he wrote the original like sword art, like when they were on Iron Crad, so like you should learn right now and like he's still like Yeah. Oh god. I don't know. It, it's just like like when I first saw it, I was like, Oh you gotta be kidding me. You go back to the guy, where, but hmm, he's like, what, what, what's up? He's like, nothing. I'm not going to do anything like, about bro, those broken really? characters on the enemy side. I'm just going to leave them open. And I'm just, I, I don't know, that whole thing, I'm just thinking, oh, this is... Yeah, like, that was just like a stupid loophole they had to put in. I, that was oh, bad that was writing like, at that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Really? You're just leaving this, this giant, this, massive this, hole in this? Is this like, is why people hate Sword Art. <laughs> Yeah, and then did you guys also get mad when they uh, kind of hinted towards the whole gang hopping into that that underworld? Oh yeah, because I, I, like it's gonna be some BS about how like oh the, like it was based off like yeah, the original seed that that oh yeah that the sword iron cry was based off of. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's that, that's because they always use that as a plot device to carry over like Kirito's like stats from Sword Art. Hey guys, like twenty seven episodes later, we got to see the other the other cast members. Yeah, it only took forever. That like uh, the show is not only based on Kirito and uh, Asuna. And I still, I still don't like Yui. Like she's just like she's just always there just to break things. Yeah, she yeah. Ha- she's she's a little hacker. I think we need to we need to all go back. This is why like I kind of like Alexization, like this arc, uh, like the first few episodes, because I thought it was just gonna be like a brand new, like serious, uh, like theme going. Because right, the very first. 
uh, what, 12 episodes of season one. It was like legit serious, right? You die yeah. in the game, you die in real life. Like, yeah. there was, like there was a penalty. You had to play a certain way. But now it's like, it doesn't matter what the fuck you do. This guy's super OP and they just do whatever they want. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. I just... I'm just not into it anymore. Yeah, there's uh-huh. just like no real risk to this shit. It's weird. like, man, bring it back so people will legitimately die, so they'd be smart. Plus, like they still like, don't they don't really do a good job explaining why like Alice is so important for the AI? Because it's just like when you just look at this, just at this episode, it's just it's just these serious like you know military people like breaking into this top secret facility just to dive into a virtual MMO game. Well, the, another dumb thing, it's basically, it's like, hmm, we can't search through, you know, thousands of people to find Alice. I'm thinking, there's no damn way you're not a giant-ass system and not have, be able to have a search engine where you could just search search Alice. <laughs> it's not like, it's like, no, no, we don't have that. I mean, to be fair, Alice is a really common name, so so maybe that's... Like, I think it's probably, because, I mean, like, it's probably, like, her, the whatever ID is probably, like, hidden, and that's why, like, I think that's why they're saying you have to actually... Like it's like if you're you know if you're in WoW and you're trying to find one specific character, but it, it's not like their name or anything. It's like a hidden like, it's like, like a attribute number. that's oh, like that's like yeah. admin privilege yeah. only. But her name just happens to be Alice. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but that part's dumb. Yeah, so, but I don't know. It's just like I mean, I'm still gonna like I, I know I'm still gonna probably it's definitely not like I don't think really not good. I mean, it's not. There's some there's some there's some parts of it that are just awful. But it was I mean, just like, oh, one thing you really look forward to is just the, the fight scenes. The fight scenes, basically the animation, yeah. Not even the yeah. story, the animation, which is kind of well, too bad. But. Dude, people on Reddit kept like hyping up, hyping this up so much, saying this is like the best arc of Sword Art. It's like, oh man, that's like, a low it, bar. I mean, I guess it's like <laughs> when you have a low bar start with, I guess you could say this is the yeah. best arc. But see, those are the people that that really like the show. Um, but I, I'm surprised, dude. I haven't looked at the at the um like the the threads or anything. Like, are there actually people that hate Sword? Like talk, I, like, I, I think we hate Sword. You wouldn't be commenting on these threads. I haven't looked at them at them recently, but I feel like it's just like. No, I'm sure there would be because they need something to do in their lives. <laughs> there are there are some shows that I've actually looked just as like I just feel how bad they are just and see what other people say about it. Yeah, like um, not many. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just like this episode. It's like because uh, like the first. 24 episodes of Alicization, I, I didn't really have any of those moments where I'm just like, what the fuck? Besides, like, that one, besides the one chick where she's like, call me administrator. I was like, oh, Jesus. Hey, man, and then, I uh, am administrator. Yeah, that, but that was the only... That's that's the dream of every network engineer ever. Yeah, but that was the only moment I think I had of the first... This, it's like, we're episode, what was it, three? And I'm already, like, I'm already, like, you know, facepalm. So. I just like I just I don't like feel connected to the conflict because it's all AI. Oh, yeah. Like yeah, that's what I was saying like, last time was like these fake AI goblins invading these fake AI villagers. Yeah, where where the real Kirito has to face off against like these real military people in a virtual like game. So, yeah, I don't know. I just I don't feel like attached to the conflict in like the in the BMMO. Yeah, somehow these guys are able to break into the main thing, but they can't get to the next room. <laughs> I think they're, they're saying like, something like they're worried about damaging. Like, yeah, uh, the... it's like they can't. It's too thick to cut through with like a saw, and then they can't use TNT because it would actually but, I mean, affect so like the the thing. So you're telling me the main door isn't the same material? Like it's nope. just like no, dude, because it's the <laughs> sub area. It's oh, way more yeah. secure. Mm-hmm. Like, yes, the sub area plot, is more secure than the main plot armor. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Exactly. Little plot, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's so it's I like like I said, I'm gonna still watch it, but I'm not gonna have expectations. Yeah, like, it's weird, right? Like the first two episodes, like it weren't it seemed to be like going at a good pace and then like this episode yeah. just kinda fucked it for everything, yeah. I think. Yeah. I don't know. It's just like ugh. I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens, but it's just like a lot of these things I just can't take through. So how long will I keep watching Sword Art just constantly do a new game every season and have to like do this shit all over again? <laughs> I, I don't I mean, know. As, yeah. as long as they can milk it. Man. <clears throat> yep. Yep. It's like this is like like what the fourth game now. It's like mm-hmm. if only is they could the... just reboot. They should just reboot this and just start over from just Sword Art. No, that's going. the thing. I think they did. Like manga wise, they actually are making a reboot of the very first uh, season, and then okay. they're gonna stick to it. Well, I know, like the. 
because the original light novel, like they started four seventy five, and then they did the flashback, and then there's like a bunch of side stories made into the first season. But besides um, that, it's like I'm just I'm just tired of all these new games. So is Alice's Edition is it really considered a game though? Because basically, didn't they make it to train AI? I mean, it, it's a training, it's a simulator, but it's like you can treat it like a game because it has like RPG elements. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. <clears throat> like it's not an MMO because you're not playing of other like players, but like right. So it's basically like the single for single player RPG version of like of like the the dive technology. Which, by the way, it's in 2026, so we got seven more years till we get it. Whoopee! Even though I think I think the first one came out in 2022. Bro, there's no way that hack the dot hack uh, date is already passed. I'm still not in <laughs> VR games. Or legitimate RPG VR games where I can, you know, where, uh, you know, we're, 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 we're past the Back to the Future right, yeah, and we don't have flying hoverboards yet. Yeah, none of that. So it's just like, yeah, I'm just going to, I'm just going to guess it's going to be way, way later than 2027. No, I said 20, 2040. It's going to be the year. Oof. 24, 2040. Yep. <laughs> I can do the last years in my deathbed in the, in the sort <laughs> of. <laughs> Trying to get me. <laughs> Trend. You're just in your fifties, ah, 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 David. Way to go! You're going to your fifties, man. <laughs> way, to dis- out. Fact, way to disrespect all the middle aged fifty year olds out there. My age. <laughs> Dude, twenty four is only twenty years if, from now, if, man. Can we move on. Why are we talking about my age? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, just, just embrace it. It's okay. Cool. Don't act like you're not part of this. <laughs> Yeah, uh, hey, I've embraced it. You see me tripping out? No, sir. Because uh, you were you were the one that was called out. I'm calling you out. Well, technically, you're the oldest, so that's your problem. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's move on. Guys. Right. You're gonna wait 20 years, Stren. They'll be fine. Thanks, man. Yeah, I feel better now. Yeah, just imagine, just imagine all the people back in 2000 saying that to wait 20 years. Uh, just, just be like, like them, David. I was one of those people. Just be like back in 2000. Say, I'll oh, just wait 20 years for this. Yep, live back in the good old days. Yeah. Wreck right, a so... dream. And now it's basically coming to the edge where it's just like not happening. Fate? <laughs> all right. I think that's it for Star I think that's all. For Star, all right. Right. I, I, had a good, I had a good time here. Thanks for that, Stren. So no we're going to transition over to Fate Grand Order. I think me and Stren are the only ones that are still watching this. So, Still? Wait, was anybody else watching this? I know. I think Peter was a little bit, but I don't know if he's... He, he saw the first episode, but... Oh, right. I'll talk to him. I think he's like oh, the only okay. one who would, would watch it, but I think right now it's just me and you, Stren. Okay. I'll, I'll get him into uh, into it next time. So, they, the only thing really that happened this this episode was just Jaguar Man, which I, which I have to say, like, like it's it shouldn't be Jaguar Man, because Jaguars are in South America. They're in <laughs> Mesopotamia, Babylon. It should be Panther Man, but whatever. <laughs> Uh, also, uh, besides also, that, like, just a really weird character. Well, also, I'm pretty sure Jaguar Man is uh was the person I was always watching over Shiro. Like, was the was it? Wait, was it sister? Yeah, that's her. That's same her? voice actress. Everything. Yeah. What same okay. voice actress? Same character model. Everything. Unless they decided oh, to just make her like, a man this like, time. Like the, the the gym teacher or something? yeah, no, no, no. Uh, no or... well, maybe the person she would always go to like, Shiro's house and. She... Okay, I I I forgot about her. Okay, like. I thought it was some random person, but well, in a way, I mean, Jaguar Man and like, like you said, Mesopotamia is pretty fucking random. <laughs> so, like, so, so they're just bring, making all these people like similar to the Fate Save for no reason, like, like a Rin, and now like this. Uh, yeah, the, the other teacher. person I cannot remember the name. Like, <laughs> I'll try like to why? Find it's just, yeah. it's just so confusing. If it's like, if it's like no, <clears throat> it's no like canon reason. Like, why? Why are we reusing assets basically? Yeah, I mean, I'm telling you, like this, the whole the whole face, fate stay like series or fate series is just, it's it's so it's so hard to keep up with. And besides that, so this episode, like, this just got wrecked by the check part, man. Yeah, I mean, I, I couldn't at first. I I couldn't actually tell like if she was the the actual goddess. That was uh, that was um, she's just the forest goddess, <laughs> but I don't think she's yeah. like the three one of the three goddess that's invading. Um, Babylon, and the girl's name was uh, Fujimaro. I learned about it works. That's that, that's the guy's name, isn't it? No, Taiga Fujimaro. Taiga. That, that's that's the girl that was uh, staying at uh, Shiro's place. 
Oh, Fujimaru. Okay. Yeah. Wasn't the guy's uh, name also Fujimaru? Uh, or... She's homeroom home room instructor of Shio's class. Okay, so she was his yeah, his, his teacher. Yep. Yep, and but... then some, now she's Jaguar Man. <laughs> God. But, yep. um... Confusing. But, dude, this, <clears throat> like... I'm starting. I'm starting to get, I'm starting to get a little tired of like of Mash and and Anna and Marlin just like getting their ass kicked every time. Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess like I guess the first one was against like Google Mesh, but like, dude, Google Mesh and then like Ishtar, but yeah. Like, but first, uh, go on. I was gonna say like, so what, what's what's Mash gonna do? Because like, wh- where's her noble phantasm? Like all like, what was the whole point? Of, like all those six singularities. We just gotta get your ass kicked. Like. In the seventh one over and over again. Well, the thing with uh, with Mash though, I mean, she's I mean, she's basically just defensive. Like, she doesn't really have any kind of. Uh, I don't think she really has too many like offensive abilities besides just like you know blocking. Uh, I guess so. We just but, basically have to rely on like Merlin and and Anna. I don't even know yeah. what is like the main guy. What is what's his like powers? He basically just backs up the. She, he just backs up Mash. Like uh, I know, like, like if like cause, how? Okay, well in the in the game, I think he would have like a. During like each like match, you'd have like abilities where you can heal her. You can uh, up the attack, and I think there was one oh more. Oh my god! So he's just like a boost support. That's basically what it is. Yeah, basically oh boost, and then also has like the wishes, uh, the three wishes or not? So not, her, yeah, so we're, so we're we're so reliant on like yeah Merlin and Anna and like yeah. Well, that's that's fake grand order though. Like they're like they're so reliant on like the the servants or the heroes of that time that they're like the main characters, and then they're like Mash and uh, uh, the uh, the main guy are just kind of like. Side character. Is that why everyone spent so much money on this damn game? Yeah, probably. Yes, yes. Because because <laughs> Mash and the main guy is so useless. <laughs> uh, but the one thing though that they that that they showed at the end of this episode, where I thought like where I think we we talked about it last week, where we didn't know if Gilgamesh was going to be good or bad. I mean, at, towards the end of it, it seems like he was. Yeah. It seemed like he was going to be like he was going to be good. Yeah. So I'm actually excited to, to see Gilgamesh in a good character. He's probably he's. Probably gonna end up like like one v three like the the goddesses. Well, probably he's gonna be he's gonna be the main carry. Yeah. So I, I'm excited. I actually want to see like because I always thought Gilgamesh was a really cool character, but like you know in certain like uh in Zero and Fate Stay you just you hate the guy. Well, I mean yeah so, he's a douchebag, but he's a he's yeah complete douchebag. But now um, it's just like I'm excited because okay, because um when in this episode when when the main guy when he fed the bread to that the guy in the alley and you mentioned like the three goddesses i'm surprised like one of the other ones didn't show up because he like he was doing like that premonition or like the foreshadowing oh yeah but then we only well, end up seeing we only have seen the jagger man so jaguar yeah. man well i mean it's not like they could really like um i mean do anything because they were in uruk so i mean i don't think like the goddesses would be able to like really just kind of fly oh, in there yeah i guess <clears throat> but i mean if they were in that random town Ur- <laughs> was it the town I can't remember the name of it. Like, or um, something. Yeah, yeah. Where I, I I could easily see like one of the goddesses approach, which Jaguar Man did. But it's, it's, I mean she's she's considered the forest goddess, but I don't think she's like the one of the three goddess. She's just I guess just one of the deities. Because I think yeah, they mentioned that she was like a divine spirit, wasn't wasn't she? Uh, but yeah, uh isn't she basically a god? Pro- probably. Like Yeah. And they were like, like basically saying like the way, has to her. like the way how gods like work in this in the lore is like I I don't really know because it's Very so different confusing. from like regular re- yep. original Fate Stay where it's just it's just like legends. Yeah. So in a way, like what I'm thinking is they're gonna end up uh, Gilgam go back to the town, uh, beat a- beat Jaguar Man's ass down, and then Jaguar Man's gonna join him. Gilgam should personally do it. It feels like it's just like a waste of his talent. It just for him, just I think I don't think Jaguar Man's like. Well, the thing is, with, to fight for him. Yeah, well, the thing with the uh, Gilgamesh, though, like, I, I mean, he, I think he'll definitely do it because uh, he, he it seems like he actually really does care about his people and his town or his city, I guess. Um, I think but I don't know if he's like, he, he controls like Ur. He's just like just the ruler of Uruk. Like, he might just yeah. be just in charge of that city, not just like the whole. Yeah, but he could, actually, he could, always, he could always see it as Ur as a good, like a, a really good ally. I mean, I'm only saying this. I'm only saying this because just because, like, what I played of the mobile game, like a lot of the time, it would just be like these random types of uh, servants or gods would end up joining your party. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, they would basically they would they would uh they would go through like that timeline, and then during the journey, they would end up picking up like other. Servants. That's how the game would end up uh, would end up going. And that's why people spend all their money on this game. Yep. 
God, I'm so hyped when the game come out and I spent nothing. I was like, I can't do it. This game is rigged. <laughs> oh, also, yeah. I think they also um showed the one a trailer or something for Camelot, but I didn't watch it. So yeah, I haven't watched it. Oh, uh, I, I I watched it, but it was basically just desert. I'm like, eh, pass. I mean, I'm gonna watch it, but it, it was the trailer was nothing special. Okay, so well, yeah, that's basically what basically it for Fate Grand Order. Mm-hmm. Um, that's so that's all the shows I've been see watch. I'm gonna hand this over to Stray and Koo and just if you want to talk about the shows, other shows they watch, starting with uh, the wrestling show. Yeah, cool. I'll uh, since I talked about the last one, I'll let you start this one up. Oh, okay. So we are gonna be talking about Kimoto Michi Rise Up. Um, for this episode, what was it? I think it was episode four. They uh, start out the episode with uh. So kind of like the main cast right now, right? The the little demon princess or dragon princess girl, uh, her her servant, the vampire lady, and then uh, I think did they actually open up their pet shop or he's just hoarding pets? Still hoarding pets. Still hoarding pets, right? And then we're looking at the um, I'm horrible with names, but the the fox girl or the wolf girl. She's the one that's been more worried about making money for the group to make sure they have something to something to use, something to eat. Uh, so she was making like what, like flowers, like paper paper flowers to sell. Yep. Was it paper flowers or was it legitimate flowers? I don't I don't remember. It was either that or ornaments. But she was selling to nobles, and then she was getting paid like shit to nothing. So uh, she was like getting really angry. She went to go to the the guild to um, get side jobs to make more money, and that's when they picked up the the Griffin job. Yep. And then that. I think the show is pretty much uh, I don't know, like this episode didn't really like catch my attention other than the beginning opening scene when uh, they were trying to when the, the princess that summoned him in the very beginning was trying to figure out where he went. Oh yeah, she's still trying to find him. Yeah, and then her now her name is now known as like Princess Buttocks. Yeah. <laughs> she got suplexed in the very first episode. <laughs> Uh, but otherwise, that was the only thing that really drew my attention to this episode. Like after that opening, I just didn't really care much about that because they're kind of just using the same materials over and over again, right? Like they need money, they go to the guild. Like someone calls them the the beast killer, he suplexes them or like knocks them out, um, and then they just do some random quest. So there's nothing really new this uh, this episode that really drew my attention. I don't know if there was anything that you liked about it or uh, basically same. It. Basically, same thing. I mean, I, I still I'm enjoying it. when you when you know it's from Konosuba, you kind of just have to kind of go with it. Where you're, you're you feel like it's just going to be kind of the same thing. You're just watching it for comedy. There's just going to be a, like really kind of slow uh, story development where it's just yeah, you know, like how you said there. It just kind of showed that they're still broke as fuck. Then they yeah. accept like this op- like they 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 accept like this epic uh, quest, and then where they have uh, like he has no interest in actually defeating the Griffin, but he wants. You know, um, uh, like another pet. The griffin, yeah. yeah. Basically, wants another griffin for this for the for the shop. Um, does not take out the mom and dad, but ends up taking out like the like the one like little griffin that ends up losing because I guess like the griffin or the griffin story or the lore of the griffin is like the how the, the parents have like two of their children go at it, and then the one that like uh, that wins the fight uh, they keep, and the other one basically just defends for themselves. So after, so he just basically waited for the the Griffin to lose, grabbed him, and re- just took off. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the episode, yeah, they 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 go back, back. where they started. Yep, they did, Griffin. Yep, they get yeah. They ended up getting another pet, but they did not get the money for the quest because they did not defeat the Griffin. Yeah, or so, they didn't I mean, get rid of the problem. But and at least with Conan, but like every episode, I felt like it was trying to build up to something. But with yeah. this one, I feel like uh, the past two episodes has just been kind of like lackluster. I feel yeah. I've still been enjoying it though. I, I love like the, the little thing that they do with uh, was it the <laughs> the the wolf uh, or the the, the uh, was it the wolf lady or who who's the one that comes up? Oh and, like, yeah, visits them. Dude, it's hilarious. <laughs> like, I love that little like the little thing that they they do with that. Yeah, it's like I'm married. Like it's okay. I have enough love for both of you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like whoa, what the fuck? And then all of a sudden she's like, I got twenty kids, so I can't do this, and she runs away. <laughs> like damn. Yeah, I guess uh, that, was, that was not a part uh, I forgot about, but yeah, I enjoy that part too. Yeah, just when she comes in, I'm like, all right, this is gonna be hilarious, <laughs> and like, almost every time I'm laughing. Uh, yeah. But yeah, uh, don't you think it's kind of like weird, right? Like you're actually more interested in these tidbits, like these little like 
side yeah. conversations rather than the actual episode. Well, uh, when it when it comes to like those comedy things, like I'm, I mean, I watch a bunch of comedy shows. A lot of right. them pretty trash, but I just enjoy it for the for the last. Like I'm really not like too worried about. Uh, I guess like more like 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 sword art where it's just like they have no comedy. Like it's it's mm-hmm. definitely driven by characters in the story, and right. it's pretty lackluster on both. Mm-hmm. This like at least like. I mean, the characters, we kind of already know about them. I mean, there's really not, like, in comedies, you don't really have to worry about too much of their backstory. Mm-hmm. Um, but, I mean, I, I love, like, little like little things. Like, same thing in Konosuba, where they have just, like, little random things that happen. Mm-hmm. And it's just, it's just like, damn, that was so good. Yeah. Um, um, but that yeah, was definitely the highlight of the episode for me. Yeah. So, I mean, there's not much to talk about with that one, though. Um, yeah. And then... Um, yeah, I, don't, I don't remember the, the preview. I don't know if they have a preview. Uh, I don't. I I believe they did, but I didn't really. I usually don't watch the the previews uh, for okay. like these comedy shows. So, like only if it's oh, like okay. one of those mainstream animes, like Shokugeki or something like that. Right, right. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't. Know. Is, is there anything else you want to talk about it? I think, I mean, I think that's it. We'll see what happens uh, next week. Yeah. All right. So what's this next one? Uh, Orisuki, or you don't know that loves me. Uh, you oh. can start off with this one. Uh, the episode kind of, it takes, it starts at the end of, or it starts from like the previous episode where, um, they, uh, they basically, they tell like the classmates and everything that they, that it was their fault. It wasn't, uh, uh, MC's name. I don't remember his name. Uh, Deku. I don't remember Deku's voice. Name. Uh, I know. I, I just keep thinking Deku. Um, uh, not see you. I just say Kisaragi. Um, <laughs> Um, for for him, and, this, and then like this episode was, like, uh, just talking to, uh, oh my god, her name Sumireko, Sumireko, Central Kuen, um, and just like how she says, you know, make up with everybody, just like, uh, and then it just kind of the episode was just showing him going through, um, his best friend, and then a uh, childhood friend, and class rep. Uh, well, at the end it was the the, the whole class rep, but I'll let you uh, cover that because I know you you were able to. Talk about that <laughs> way better than me. Yeah, um, council president. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And then, um, God, and then uh, they introduced another. Uh, I don't know if she's going to be a main girl, but uh, they introduced the journalist. Um, and usually, with uh, journalists for any anime shows or anything, they're always perceived in a way as a bad, as like a bad character, just mm-hmm. because all they want is a story. They don't care if they, uh, they uh, was it like a, like a fake story. Um, or fake like, news. What, yeah, fake news. They're basically, they're basically in a way, Trump. Um, uh, yeah, but at the end of the episode, though, they show that there that after he made up with all the characters or the uh, friends and everything, then she ended up getting like snapshots of him in uh, in certain situations where it makes it look like it's something else. But then she ran with it and made a, a story out of it. And I will let you pick it up. Yeah, so for this episode, I kind of liked it. They kind of just, I feel like they're just concluding with the with the first arc, right? Like, making up for everyone, becoming friends again, and then mm-hmm. they're setting up for the next arc, which is, I guess, the uh, the class festival, or school festival. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I thought it was pretty enjoyable, uh, although it was kind of cringy here and there when they were trying to, like, make up with each other. Um, which parts? Well, like, when, for instance, when uh, he was trying to make up with his best friend, Sunchan, I believe, Um and then, like, he was like, oh, no, we can't be friends anymore. And then all of a sudden he breaks out, like, oh, what should I do? Like, it's not working. Like, Pansy suggested that I be honest with myself and that it will work out in the end. So dude just starts, like, like yelling out, like, I want to be your best friend again because oh, yeah. I miss <laughs> you. Da, 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 da. And then, like, yeah. that uh, the childhood friend girl uh, started screaming, too. And it's like, oh, that's that's kind of cringy. Yeah. But it worked, I guess. So uh, I guess all friends now. Otherwise, um I think the best part for me was when um, he apologized to his best friend and then the childhood friend, and then like the uh, the student president was like following the MC around, <laughs> creeping <laughs> like, in the corners. Like, yeah, creeping around. Like, oh, okay. Like this is what I'm doing. This is how I'm gonna like make up with him. And then like she was waiting the whole time. And then like when he completely forgets about her, like they they uh, they call it the demon is coming because they forgot. And then she gets just like she creates this, like yandere aura around her. And then, like, it's so strong that the MC realizes that he forgot and he fucked up, and then it's he like, tries oh, to shit. make up for right before it gets too too serious. Yeah. Uh, so I thought that was the best part for the episode for me. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, I like how they're kind of like wrapping it up and set up for the next arc. Like, I think yep. the story is being well done so far again. So, yeah, they make it uh, kind of like I don't want to say obvious, but it can definitely you can definitely tell mm-hmm. they're prepping for the next one. So, I mean, so far, I think. I think it's off. It'll be off to a strong. Start. Even though I mean, I've seen a. Uh, I mean, it, almost any anime that has some sort of journalist in it, like mm-hmm. this, this some this arc will somehow come from. Usually, just come up. Um, or they they usually go with this type of arc, but I think it'll be. Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I think like even with the fake news, it could be easily just like a, fix by them basically saying, "Yeah, it's a lie." Or just kind of telling the truth, so we'll see if that actually happens. Yeah, I mean, if you look at opening, uh, the opening too, uh, it's there's still like what, like four or five girls that we haven't even seen yet. So yeah, there guess, is there's a decent amount, yeah. Yeah, so I guess we'll we'll, we'll see what happens. Like somehow we'll wrap up and include them in it as well. So. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah. I still I'm liking the show. I'm still I'm I'm still with it. Yeah, yeah, very very enjoyable. I think. Um, uh, and I think that's it for this. For this, anime. yeah, I think it was really basically just wrapping up. So too much to really do. Yeah, not much to talk about. And then uh, Assassin's Pride. Oh man. So I mean, if, what, if, what do you think about it? What do you, if what I can, yeah, I will start this one because, like, I think I was uh, maybe five minutes into the episode. I was a, I had like my figure on escape, and I was ready to just delete it and be done with the show. Like uh-huh. I'm thinking, oh god, I don't know. There's something about it. That I was just, I just couldn't get into it. And then uh, until like all of a sudden like uh was it the MC dude his arm just gets cut off I'm like whoa what the fu-? and then all of a sudden I was like all right we'll see where this goes I was like at the end of this fight I'm just gonna I'll, I'll kind of like just decide if I want to get rid of it or keep it and then um right then right when he I think was it the the guy revived like some giant dragon looking thing and then the guy just basically just I think was it crumples him I, I don't know if I want to blow him up it just seems like he just crumpled him. I just crunched him into like a almost into like just right into the wall. Um, yeah, kind of like he know. imploded him somehow. Yeah. <laughs> and then basically, then he changes, gets white hair, all of a sudden like an ice aura around him, and then just sticks his arm back on. I'm thinking, damn, what the hell just happened? <laughs> like it was a, it was a, it was like a, a path that I did not think was going to be any. Like, I didn't, I didn't, I did not think they were going to go with this path. The um, whole, uh, overpowered MC. Oh no, overpowered! But it's all of a sudden it's just like the guy just—he's like, "I'm a vampire." I was like, "What the fuck?" They—they're in the show. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Anything goes. Uh, this. I don't know, uh, but yeah, just with that whole thing. I, I mean, I—I I, I just want to kind of see like what happens of it, just like or where they kind of go with it, because uh, because uh, at first like the fight just seemed like it was—I don't want to say bad animation, but it definitely wasn't like, or it, it wasn't fluid. And it just looked kind of—I don't want to say choppy like a uh, Indoro, but it had mm-hmm. some of those feels. I'm thinking, oh god, this is where the show ends. But then, see, that's the thing though. Like the first episode, like I feel like the animation was really good. In the yeah. Fights. Oh yeah. And then, in the second episode, there wasn't really that much major fighting going on. It was just between the uh, the two girls and their uh, school tournament. Yeah. So that wasn't really much to saw. But then, uh, yeah, for this episode, it seems like the the animation for the fight scenes. Uh, those either about the same or not as good as episode one. Yeah. Um, and then the story, yeah, it was kind of boring me out until you figured out he's a vampire or half vampire. Yeah. It made it a little bit more interesting. But yeah, I don't know if I can keep watching this because it doesn't feel like it's doing anything special, right? It just feels like any other, like... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like like any other uh, anime out there. So I don't really feel like there's anything that's making this stand out as much. So I might, I might drop it. Yeah, basically, like, that episode, I mean, I was so close to dropping it, and that happened. Um, I'll, I'll follow with, like, the four-episode rule, and then we'll see. I, I just want to see what they do with it for next episode. If they kind of just ignore it and just move on to other stuff, I'm like, oh, God, I can't do this. And then I'll drop it. I'll, I'll see what other people say about it. But uh, so far, I mean, with ratings, I think it's just meh. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I don't remember what, like... Um, how did the episode end? Like, where where do they do? We, do we really know what they're prepping for next episode? Uh, no, not really. So it turns out that uh, I guess like um, the client that hired him, which was the girl's father, was the one that hired this guy to come out and kidnap him. Oh, and right. kill him. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what the point of that was, <laughs> but since he became uh, he showed his true colors and he was like too strong for that uh, for the enemy to kind of overtake him. Uh. He just let them go, and then 
the episode ended with uh, the MC rescuing the two girls. He asked Again. them for dance at the end of the festival and oh, yeah. bounce it. So okay. it's not really leading up to anything other than the point that uh, during during the middle when he was about to kill two girls, <laughs> uh, they were both were, were about to awaken their paladin powers. So that's where he decided to just kill them rather than kidnap them. Um, so I guess that might oh, be right, a lead was, on yeah. to yep. the next few episodes, but I mean, nothing too direct or specific. Yeah, which is weird because it's just like it's like her dad that hired them, but yet she like they, like he had like the feeling where she's gonna wake awaken to the crazy powers. Like, wouldn't he want that? Well, that's the thing though, because like the um, she's not really like her his daughter, right? Because apparently, like oh, his I wife suppose, had yeah, an affair. That, yeah, yeah, that's why he hired the assassin to begin with to yeah. kind of like look over and make sure he was like an actual heir or not. Well, I guess, but but it, but if she awakens the paladin powers, isn't that what originally would would have shown that like he would have been, like she would have been related to them in a way? So like, would would there really be a need for him to kill her? Well, that's that, that's another thing too. Like, I don't know if that if that really is a paladin power or if it was just something that the MC like was trying to like implement. Or mm-hmm. interpret to like, hey, this is what you're going to tell your boss that. Oh, okay, yeah. Like, this is what you saw. This is what you see. This is why, like, you were trying to kill him, mm-hmm. and you're going to leave him alone, and that's what you're going to report back to her father, right? Right. So uh, I don't know if he's speaking the truth, or he was just trying to implement that message to be passed along. Okay. Because like, I don't think like that's power and power because like they had different colored eyes, right? I'm pretty sure like right. she got his. Uh, the MC's class, which is the samurai, and not the paladin. And if you think about it, the paladin girl, her eyes were blue rather than red. So I didn't even notice that. Damn. Yeah. So I mean, I don't know. Maybe just could be color choices, but I might implement that as two different classes that were being awakened. Right. Well, I'll give it another episode. We'll see. I mean, if it's if nothing like special happens next week, we probably won't talk about this show next week. I mean, there's a good chance that, that this might just trail up and. Yeah. <laughs> Like I said, it's kind of disappointing though, because like the first episode showed yeah. a lot of promise, and then yeah. it just started to slowly die out. So yeah, just basically kind of like a typical uh, type of like uh, with this show. But that's all I got. Yeah, that's that's it for me. Yeah, I mean, right, Brian, do you want to say anything about Azure Lane at all? Or? Well, I mean, it's just it's gonna be very brief. Uh, attempted the the latest episode um, and couldn't do it. It was basically the same thing that I was watching, where it's just like a bunch of random ships that are slash waifus, uh, just kind of running, talking to each other, then just like just running into battle, fighting each other, where it just seems like it's going nowhere. Then it's just like, oh, retreat, and then, and then it just, and then it just happens the same thing next episode. And then I was just like, I can't do this, and then I dropped it like five minutes in. Rip. Yep, that's all I got. Okay. Um. And then we're heading near the end of the show. I just want to give a quick shout out to Legends of Galactic Heroes because I really enjoyed the first season when it first came out. And then I've been meaning to watch all like the movies that have been coming out since then. Like they're being released each week, they're being released weekly. But like I just haven't watched any of them, but I really want to. So I'll maybe I'll just marathon at the end because we already have enough shows this season. So I think I'll just maybe wait at the end. And I don't think anyone else has got to watch besides me, anyways. So probably not. But I just want to give a quick shout out because I, I love the series. I didn't watch the original one, but like I, I would love to watch the original if I had more time. But I'm enjoying the season. remake. Next season, there's gonna be uh, very few shows to watch. <laughs> yeah. So, so I think that's that's the end of the show. It's almost two hours again. You're yeah. just barely making. <laughs> I mean, what but, can I say? There's a lot of content to discuss. You know? it's, so, it's just too many shows this, this, this season. There's a lot of shows this season, so I'm guessing the next season. Like, next season, like we'll, we might have the possibility of actually making it under an hour, but definitely not this season. Yeah. Well, so. you know, maybe people enjoy our voices, so maybe this is a blessing for them. Um, <laughs> I, guess, I guess we'll yeah. see what happens. Yeah, who's ever <laughs> listening during this first season. Yeah. Whoever, whoever listened to the entire two hours. Thank you. Know, right? Thank you so much. I, again, you wasted your time. But... Oh my god. Yeah, if, but if yeah, if you if you uh, let's let us know if you do have any kind of questions or any kind, of, or if you just hate our voice and which ones, let tell, us know. Tell it, call it out. We want to yeah. know. We will find him, and we will we will we will handle him. <laughs> all right, that's all right. We're in here for now. That's it for everyone. 
Bye and bye. Bye. Thanks for thanks for saying. See ya. Anyone was wondering. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>